Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with space exploration then. Uh, I did do a little bit of designing off stream, which is to say... Oh, I also reorganized... Whoops. I hope I didn't just delete something there. Um, oh, actually, Auto Trash would have put it back straight away if I'd done that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, what? Wait, what? Oh, do I just need to do this again? Hold on. Did I just discover a feature by removing uh, requests that I didn't mean to remove? Um, let's see. Five pulverizers. And... Five pulverizers. Apply changes. No, we've got them. Oh, I think it was uh, delivery cannon chests I removed the first time. I thought I removed something here a minute ago. And if I add something, it gets rid of it while I'm not looking. Or at least that's how it used to behave. Um, maybe it's a setting for auto trash. Auto trash above requests. Uh, unrequested. Is it this? Auto trash unrequested items? I would have thought... Pause requests, show to status display. What does that do? Yeah, updating it does get rid of the requests I threw in here, but um, it doesn't work the way I remembered it. Maybe it's one of these settings. Freeze a K. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, I actually prefer this, though, because I can quickly throw in a request... Uh, just like with vanilla. And when I reset it um, back to a preset with auto trash, it'll be gone. Okay. Well, anyway, I reorganized the blueprint book just a little bit. A bit more organized now. I obviously haven't finished doing that. But I took the time to make a few uh, science uh, tech card builds. Which are pretty much all exactly the same, or almost exactly the same. Because they take in three inputs rather slowly. Uh, most of them do. Um, we don't need to build those just yet. Wait, what? This is Nervous Orbit. I was trying to look at hey, uh, Hagen Orbit. There we go. Um, but yeah, we're not running out of tech cards for a few minutes up here. But when we do, or when we get close to it, it's not going to be too much of a chore um, to replace them. Uh, we obviously just got enriched vulcanite working. And it's actually saturated faster than I thought it would. Um, so that's good. Hang on, what? Oh, there's no sulfur. Okay. Sulfur... We do have a request for it, otherwise this wouldn't have been working. Um, but yeah, we probably still need more... Petroleum? Or maybe we're still playing catch-up. After I doubled our oil system. I'll give it some time and see if it saturates. Um... Before I go ahead and make one more oil block. Zen, I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so now we've got our enriched vulcanite in significant quantities. Presumably the main thing we're going to want to do with that is turn it into blocks. 
Um, let's see. Vulcanite block. Iridium blast cake. Well, we're not able to do that yet, so that just leaves Vulcanite blocks. So we're going to need... There's not a recipe to turn steam back into water, is there? Not unless you count... Um... Steam turbines. That might actually not be the worst idea. But we'd have to have them consume power, like, as a priority somehow. I guess that's kind of true of if we consume the steam using a regular steam turbine, now that I think about it. Um... Steam back into water. Yeah, the only way to do it is with turbines, I think. Oh, we can actually do it with a chemical plant. But then we're just paying water. Uh, we're just paying electricity to do that. Well, I'll think about it. It depends on the layout of the build we're going to do. So, uh, we want to make ourselves a block for vulcanite blocks. And the inputs are water. Uh, let's see. Right click. Uh, crushed, in, crushed, enriched water and a little bit of petroleum. One petroleum per vulcanite block. That's not too bad probably, but it does make me think I'm going to need yet another block for oil processing pretty soon, if not immediately. All right, so two fluid drop-offs. Um, there's a couple of ways we can go about that. But ideally... Uh, let's get some storage tanks. How about up here, actually? I'm sure the water throughput's going to be fairly low. Oh, we can't fit that there. Not without... Yeah, no, we're going to have to have pipes on both sides. So I'm thinking... Um, I won't get too hung up on trying to get the fluid out of the tank... after the uh, Out of the fluid wagon too quickly. Um, and we'll put the... I could just do it like this for the symmetry of it. We need... It was two solids for input, right? What machine do we use to make vulcanite blocks? A industrial furnace. Okay. I ran into a fun problem with large tanks in my playthrough. They had... Like 7k fluid in them, which has, which was 1% roughly. So it was balancing into my pipe at 1%. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Uh, what am I... Chemical plant. No, no, no. Furnace. Ele uh, industrial furnace. Whoops. Okay. Crushed vulcanite, enriched vulcanite, so we do need two solids. Which means we need something other than a delivery cannon chest in the middle here. Which is a little unfortunate. Um, how about... Could do it this way. That's probably bigger than it needs to be. I'd have to do some kind of circuit balancing. Well, then again, not... Yeah, no, I would. I either want to merge it into a shared container like we usually do, or we need some kind of circuit balancing. I think I want to try doing the shared container just because... Uh, just because... We're trying to minimize the 
amount of circuit logic that's required for every single train stop. Because last playthrough that added up to a lot. Um, so two physical... how much, um... Let's see. Water in, petroleum in, steam out. That's actually going to be an interesting problem. If we want to make a nice layout. Where possible, I like to have the outputs on the same side. And that's not going to let us put the petroleum in, though. So these have to be at least one tile apart every other machine, right? How many can we fit under a beacon? Probably close to the usual amount. Oh no, we're definitely losing four, eight in total. So like one, two, three in each quarter. I think will be the limit. Um, that's not so bad, I, I guess. That's what we'll tell ourselves. Right, so that goes there. Oops. If it's going to be in the middle. And that's the most we'll be able to fit because of the petroleum input. Unless there's some kind of rotation that I'm not thinking of, but I seriously doubt it. If we do it this way, we can't get the water in. If we do it... Yeah, there's no way to have like water and petroleum on the same side. Or opposite sides. Yeah, if I if I do water on this side or this side, petroleum is blocked. If I do it like this or like this, water is blocked. There's really... there's no way around it. Okay, this will have to do. Um, I would like, however... Inputs on this side, outputs on this side, seems good. And pipes are obviously... Can we fit this much? Surely we can. Yeah. Alright. And I'll probably end up moving it to the left a bit. So it's... Uh, what's the rate for these machines individually? Four and eight per second each. That's actually quite a lot. Which means this is more than a blue belt of enriched vulcanite. And that's without the beacon. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling that it doesn't matter that we can't fit a little bit more industrial furnace under this beacon here. Um, let's see. I'd still like to maybe... I don't know. I want to design it so it can scale. And it'll actually take less input later because we give it prod modules. Would it be a crime if I design it so that for now we use a blue belt where it wants 48 enriched vulcanite at a time. Or maybe I just designed the blueprint like that and don't build the whole thing at first. Um, come to think of it, with the input that fast for the enriched vulcanite, I think I'd like to do loaders for input for that. And that's going to look something like 
this. Give me some blue belt. And like this. And then we need some long arms to pick up. Well, actually, how fast was the four per second? That's actually a little fast for a long arm. Obi, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning. Um, water consumption is really, really slow here. So I think sixteen. Oh wait, that's per machine. 480 water per second is not that slow. How much does it take to consume 384 water per second? Um, give me some cheat pipe. Steam. Uh, what's the min temp? 165? Does it come out at 165? Yeah, it comes out at 165. Okay. So we're not going to get much power out of it. But what's the rate that this converts? 990 per second? Really? Oh, okay, that's a lot faster than I thought it would be. How much power does this give us? 3.75 megawatts for 165 degree steam. That's a lot. Power in K2 is different. Okay. Uh, efficiency is only 75%. Ouchie. Max water output 66 per second. Okay. I think this is a little bit misleading. I think I think this might be tricking us somehow. Uh max consumption 66.66666 per second. Water output is just below that because we lose a little bit. Um, so we would need, like, one steam, one condenser turbine for every three of these, almost. Ayo, Kandar Jr., good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I do want to use this for condenser turbine, though. Um... Well, what if we use a steam turbine? What does that look like? Steam turbine. Uh, consumes 50 per second. It actually consumes less. Well, that clinches it. Not only will we need the trains to deliver water less often, but um, we'll need fewer condenser turbines. Oh, this has to be 415 degrees as well. Okay. So that's right out. How's the robot army coming? Uh, not so great, actually, because... Look at the bot attrition on Hagen. 10.69. However, without even thinking to check, um, if we look at the planet orbits, we actually got the lowest one that I've seen so far. 1.82 bot interference radiation. Uh, so it's like 1.8 times on the surface of Nalvis. But uh, on the surface for Hagen, it's over 10 times. RimWorld has robot armies. Indeed it does. And they do not like humans. Um, okay. So I think... We'll use... well, let's get the rate for this. Uh, we get 384 steam per second. If this is running perfectly, which it won't for a while, but that's fine. Um, 
So we would need... Uh, six condenser turbines. Where should we put them? I don't know, but I'm just going to lay out this so that we know. Um, I still don't know where I'm going to do the other input, though. Maybe on the... maybe on this side? If we're sending all the steam to the middle and the outside like this... One, two, three, four, five, six. We could put one here, and here, and here, and here. One, two, three, that's going to end up being eight. There's no actual middle here though, which, and that's terrible. Um, hmm. Um, how are we going to get 24 per second? Oh, I'll probably do some underground belts. It's not belt weaving if we're not using underground blue belts. It's fine, don't worry about it. Then again, I don't know how we're going to do the water input. Probably by moving the belts up a little bit. Um, like this. So we're gonna have water, and now there's no room for the red belt, for the inserter. Uh, okay. That's unfortunate. Is this really gonna be that hard? I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, there we go. And they can even connect to each other at least once. Okay, let's remove these. Uh, copy paste. Like so. Oh, uh, and on this side. Like this. And like this. Yoka, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now you can have your own robot army in RimWorld. Nice. I wish I had infinite time so I could play all the games I want to play. Um... Alright, so petroleum is obviously going to go, like, out the side or something. Water is looking pretty good, actually. This is... This is very much intruding on the right side of the block. Maybe I'll just end up doing one block... Uh, like, one beacon, one block with this build. How fast are we getting... 48 Vulcanite blocks per... S oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think it's almost a stack of Vulcanite blocks per second from one beacon. Um, and needing two stacks of crushed Vulcanite, four stacks of enriched Vulcanite to support it. I think we'll just do this once per block. I think that'll be fine. So, let's find the middle here. It's one off, isn't it? It is one off. Um, and that'll make it a lot more easy to supply the ingredients at speed as well. It also gives us way more space to play with. Uh, so, 
This was actually more than a blue belt for the Enriched Vulcanite, but not by much. I think I'll just leave it like that until I can upgrade the belts. Um, and we can bring this out a few tiles. That was one too many, I think. Exactly one too many. Is this it? Yes, but now it's down a block. Alright, cool. I could always do multiple belts for input so it can keep up. But like, I, I know when I get prod modules, the ratio is going to change so that we can actually keep up with the belts. So I'm not too worried about that. And then... Petroleum over here somewhere. And this can probably connect over here. Petroleum's quite slow, right? 96 per second for the whole block. Yeah, we can we can get away with this. And like so. I'll actually just connect it like this because why not? Okay. Seems good. Is this in the middle? It is. Let's move this out. A whopping one, two tiles. Are the longer pipes part of K2? They are, indeed. And the, uh, if you want even longer than that, you can go for steel underground pipes. Which are like 50% longer, I think. Remolak, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, alright, so... We've got plenty of room. I think I will... Just make that red belt. And we'll do it on both sides. Oh, and then this doesn't... It's not in the filter. Alright, cool. So same thing, but not on the opposite side. Get rid of the pipes. Input. Uh, it's going to have to be a little bit different in the middle. That's okay. And then steam. Paste flip. Fantastic. Uh, can we actually fit the output though? Not if we have that belt where it is. Um, hmm. Let me just get this part done right. Uh, I guess if we're doing input belts on both sides for the enriched, we really don't need the loaders, actually. Wait, why don't I do... Oh, because it's slightly too much. 
crushed Vulcanite four per second. It's a little bit too much for a long belt, a uh, long inserter. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking something like this, but that split is a problem. And the beacon, of course. What if we move the beacon down a little bit? Uh, I don't love having to do that, but that works. It's still pretty neat. I mean, it's still very neat. The beacon's just not obsessively perfectly in the middle. Um, and they're gonna have to have a pair of belts like this. What's the rate of output here? Uh, four per second. That's actually... Uh, long arm inserter is too slow. Damn it. You already had the output on the other side. Never mind. Okay. Mass Lander, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Come to think of it, we've got a few tiles to spare. Vertically. So, I might scrap what we've done so far. Keep it on the left in case we go back to it. Uh, let's see. We can go... While we're at it, this should be one tile up. Two tiles to the left. And we can only fit three vertically, coming from the beacon anyway. So we may as well see if we can spread them out and gain something from that. Let's just get rid of all of the clutter so we can start fresh here. We can have consistently only two tiles between them. But does that help? Probably... Oh, it does, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then we can do the loader thing like this. That actually helps a lot. Uh, petroleum's not going to be able to go both ways out of this. Unless we... Do something like this, but I'm sure that'll be fine, probably. Okay, undergrounds like so. And... Oh, right. They only need the input pipes like that in pairs. Don't know how much that helps. Well, I guess it doesn't, because we want to have this loader input here. Damn it. Oh, that's actually perfect. That is actually perfect. Nice. So we just barely fit all the, all the furnaces under the beacon. And we get pretty compact uh, inputs at high throughput at the cost of no power. No insert of weirdness. And 
then we just need some water and one belt for a crushed vulcanite. It's actually 2448 crushed vulcanite between the 12 machines. Uh, it's only 4 per second, so we could do a fast inserter, but it's probably more UPS friendly if we do a stacky. Or it's probably even more friendly if we do a loader, but that's going to be a bit more awkward to fit. Um, and we'll do the output over here, I think. Either that or this could be input and this could be output. Hello, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, water is going to be trickier than I thought. No, it's not. It's fine. We can just go like this with our water. I like that. That's good. It literally uses every tile in this space. But it's very it's very neat, very compact. Alright, so copy paste flip that. I can't flip if there's industrial furnaces. And then petroleum. We'll have to figure something out. And steam will have to figure something out. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Steam, we can do the same thing as water. So we could have uh, four belts. Oh, this is going to be the output, actually. I haven't decided which one's going to be the output. It depends which is going to be neater um, when we're dealing with belts. Uh, but I might just make that yellow just to show it's different until we're done designing it. Okay, and then obviously if we want to use little baby beacons, oh that's going to be terrible. We'd need three, we'd need one per four, but we can fit them there quite easily, it looks like. So what is going to look something like this? Uh, steam is going to look... Very similar. Petroleum. I think petroleum... Oh, that doesn't go there. Petroleum probably just has to come out here, right? Because we can't have it turn the corner here because this has a steam output. Which means this one's in trouble. Oh no, it was so close to being perfect. So JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are we going to deal with petroleum? There's no room to change this, unless I cut off like four industrial furnaces on each side. Which, considering the massive throughput that we're getting here, is not that over the top. In fact, it would mean that we could just do this with one blue belt and it would greatly simplify the, de de the design, but 
You know how I like to fit as much as possible under a beacon. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what if we did steel underground all the way out here? I don't think there's going to be enough room. I think... Like, we'd have to go, like, steel underground, like... Oh, wow. Does that work? Oh, wow. Is that the answer? I think it is. We'd only have to do it for the middle two, but, like... If we're going to do this, we may as well be consistent. Steel pipes are amazing. Underground in front of steam output? In front of steam output. As in, it's a problem or it's a suggestion? Oh, you mean like here? Like what we're doing? Um, so on this side... Petroleum goes here. And then... Obviously, petroleum goes here. That is so neat. I'm actually... I'm actually, like, in love with this. This is... this is looking really good. You could make the middle two even tighter by having the beacon clip into the belts, by having underground belts go over. Uh, this is true. This is true. There's not really any need to do that here, though, since we're using the entire block for one beacon. I think it's fine. Because um, we just barely reach the industrial furnaces on the outside still. Okay, so uh, petroleum up here also and wait no this machine already has it what am i doing we don't need these ones all right then uh how do i want to do Unfortunately, there's no, like, perfect symmetry with these, because we need six of them. Where is the steam? It is here. I might just make more steam turbines than we need. Steam, 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 steam. And we need two more. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just check. 96... Yeah, 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 we do need more. But, um... Maybe there is a way I could build them symmetrically. If we connect all the steam pipes together. Uh, water is gonna go back in here. And back in here. And I could do... Oh, there's no room left up here. I was going to say I could do the same thing up top, but with only two of them. I mean, t t technically I pr probably could. I I'm thinking like somewhere like this instead. 
But then it's going to be, like, not as neat getting it back to the water. This works too, indeed. Didn't even need to supply the petroleum in between the third and fourth furnace, as they would get supplied from the other side already. The third and fourth. Third and fourth. Oh, true. Oh, God damn it! Well, this is still pretty neat, though. This is pretty good. Where are these ones getting... Like, we could... we can supply these two... These two, these two, these two. So this one... This one, this one. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Also... Let's not forget this side. And we don't need one up here. I guess I could just push these down a little bit. How many physical outputs do we have? Just the one. Yeah. Uh, it's quite fast, though. 96 per second. So we need at least a couple of belts for output. Hmm... No, I'm going to call it two belts for output. Well, I'm sure we can squeeze more than that. Um, but I was thinking steam turbines, something like this. Just happens to connect where the steam does anyway. Seems good. Seems very good, actually. I quite like that. Um, do we want to do two input stations? I think we could do a much cleaner job with two input stations. Probably. We could do the quick fluid drop-off as well, even though the fluid throughput's going to be quite slow here. Uh, assuming that'll fit. Eh, not really. Let's just do it this way, like we usually do. Uh, and over here we need a drop-off as well. Um, and I'm actually just not going to do a shared station. For either resource. We've got two physical inputs, two fluid inputs. We're using the entire block. We'll do one solid, one fluid for each side. However, I don't think... I don't think the inserters are going to keep up with... Uh, before, we be, uh, before we use modules, 192 enriched vulcanite per second. So, we're not going to be able to put the delivery cannon chest here and have the bulk rail unloaders move that stuff. We're going to need a big juicy container. Uh, maybe here? Maybe that's too far. I mean... Can we make it a bit more compact? I could just use a smaller container. There's really no need for a particularly big one, right? As long as we have... Actually, considering the throughput we want... Uh, slightly more than two blue... No, it's like... F it's more than four blue belts. But we're just going to pretend four blue belts are enough. Because it's going to change when we module it. 
Uh, one, two, three, four. No, we've got room for that. I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can do it this way. Twenty-four machines making steam, indeed. When you rate calculated them, it said twenty-four machines for steam. Uh. All, all of these machines together make 384 steam per second. Uh, if we rate calc over the uh, the steam turbine, condenser turbines, it's actually very misleading. But if we look at the stats, they tell us it consumes 66 and a bit per second. Rate calc confuses me? Yeah. Yeah, rate calc doesn't know what to do with the uh, condenser turbines, basically. All right, so we're going to do should probably have made those blue. Wait, let me just double check something here. Oh, that's like one blue. No, reds are, reds are fine for that. But the splitters might have to be blue. All right. actually pretty neat. And underground. Uh, why don't we do the same thing here for the look of it? Split is actually totally unnecessary. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's actually super neat. Uh, Fulker, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. D Hose, welcome also. And Mad Dame Salsa, good to see you again. Missed one uh missed one blue belt. Missed one blue belt. Oh, I see it. Which means this one's missing. Three and seven, indeed. Okay, uh, and then the other input is a lot slower. It's still 96 per second. Um, I think, I think the bulk rail loaders can give us that much. I'm pretty sure. And which side do we want to do the inputs and outputs? Um, I'm thinking on this side it looks like it would be easier and neater if this was input, but this side's going to be a problem, perhaps. Let's see. That would have to go there. And that would have to go there. That's actually not that bad. And then something very similar here. It, it That's actually going to make it kind of symmetrical. I, I can definitely live with that. Um, on the other hand, it might be... Whoops. Uh, it might end up being tidier. If we have the four input belts... One, two. Oh, wait. Uh, one, two, three, four. What's the rate again? Um, it's like a blue belt per side. Okay. It'll be slower once we give it prod mods. And we need a splitter right about here. Oh. 
that should actually be fine. Um, I'll just do the test inputs before we change the belt colors so that uh, everything's as fast as it should be. I'm just keeping it this way so that we can see things a bit better. And then outputs are going to be on this side. How fast are the outputs individually? Four per second. That should probably be a stack inserter. Uh, I don't think we need three of them for that last part. Fantastic. Wait. That's backward, isn't it? Fantastic. Wasn't there a LTN station where the new blue belt splitter is? Uh-oh. I think you're right about that. That's unfortunate for the aesthetic. It's not that bad. But... Sacrifices will have to be made. Alright then. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, now let's turn these belts around. Oh, not belts, but the inserters. Facing the middle of the pair of columns. And I think it's time for our test inputs. Where are we going to put the substations, though? Well, that's obvious. That one is not going to be able to be just as neat. If only it reached here. One of. Feels bad. How about... There's no way to be consistent on both sides with this one. It seems like. Yeah, we'll just do our best. Oh, and then all of this fits under... Oh, I love this. Yes, yes, all of that, please. Uh, let's do... Let's go here and... One off. Let's go between each pair. That's really neat. I love that. And this one can go... That looks weird, actually. Up here, I guess. Fantastic, indeed. Uh, we don't have the beacon under the substations, but we're going to have... Did we get wide area beacons? I think we get those after we get... Uh, I'm looking for research. Uh, I think we get those after we get substation pylons, right? We actually just need energy two. And... Pylon substation is also energy two. So we pretty much get them at the same time. Kind of looking forward to energy two now. Maybe I'll get... That'll probably be the first um, tier 2 science we go for. Then again, material 2 gives us space elevators. Oh, it's, it's tough. Alright. Let's make all of these blue belts. I think there's probably actually... Yellow, red. That should be fine. Yeah, there's enough there's there's just enough space at least for the for the tiers of belts that we're up to <laughs> anyway. Oh no, yeah, I think there is enough space to convert everything to blue belt with one upgrade planner. And that's significantly harder to follow. Um That's why I had the different belt colors. Alright, let's do test input. Um give it some power. 
give it some infinity chests, some super inserters, some enriched vulcanite, and what's the first fluid? Water. We'll do water here, petroleum, whatever's higher volume. Actually, we'll do the petroleum on the left because the enriched vulcanite is higher volume and the petroleum is lower volume than water. Although, I did that doesn't consider the recycling rate. Uh, so let's see. It's net four water consumed per second, basically. And we get almost all of it back from condenser turbines. Hmm. So that means petroleum does get consumed a bit faster. Uh, no, petroleum gets consumed at the same rate. It's actually four per second. Okay. Doesn't actually matter. Which is which here. And water. And last but not least is brushed vulcanite. Fantastic. Now we just need to connect the input fluids. Um, petroleum, like so, and could I do it this way? We're already using some steel underground pipes, so what if I do... Oh, it's one off. Oh, tragedy. All right, let's do it like this. Wait, that doesn't reach? No. Bad. All right, fine. How about this? We'll crumble. Hey, Captain True. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's the use of unresearch? Never noticed it till now. Uh, imagine we are testing a spaceship. Not that we can do that in the little extra surface. I am Raven. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, imagine we're testing a spaceship or some Bider defenses or something. Uh, we might want to drop uh, laser damage back a bit from upgrade number 19 for example, or mining productivity for some reason. I can't actually think why you would want to change mining productivity for testing. But yeah, editor full control, yes. So what are we missing here? Water? That connection is fairly obvious. And that's actually connected everything because we connected the outputs for the condenser turbines. Cool. Very, very good. Um, what's this for? I think this was from the old build, the old idea that I had. Let's just make sure everything's working. Uh, it looks like it is. Okay. What's the rate from each of these columns? 24 per second, so I think we'll do... Uh... 1, 2, 3. Going to the near side of the belt. And then we're expecting, like, basically four belts of output, so 
Hmm. If that's the case, it would be better if we could put it into... Nope, I have an idea. Ideally, I would have this... from the outside to the inside. But judging by the positioning of everything here, that's going to be a bit less plausible. So basically what I want to do here is... Belts down this way. And... this way. Is that backward? Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a little awkward as well. That'll look a bit weird, but it works. And I might just limit this uh, second one to one cargo wagon. Mining productivity is the difference between a full and not full belt with less and less miners. Indeed it is. Okay, can we do this, but the other way around, though? I guess it's actually not that difficult, now that I look at it. Yeah, it's actually not that difficult at all. Okay, but why aren't we producing more? Steam is full? Oh, right. Water. Uh, exactly 50%. Which, that kind of thing uh, is very easy to manage with trains as input. We're just going to summon, like, one train load. A little bit more than one train load. Um, and that way... It, it won't deliver until we're down to, like say, 10,000 water. I mean, we've got a lot more space than that here. We've got significantly more than 200k. We could request, like, two train loads of water. As long as there's room for the steam to output. Um, I think we actually have to remove the infinity accumulator, though, because... No? Hold up. Let's delete the water deleter slash creator. Steam is still full. Hmm. I was already thinking at the start about having a chemical plant to, re to just remove steam. Uh, to, uh, to just pay power to turn steam back into water if absolutely necessary. Um, I'm surprised if it is necessary. Is this powered somehow? I mean, yeah, we've got way more power than we need. Therefore, we're not running the steam turbines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, I think what we'll do is... How fast does this turn steam back into water? Quite quickly, it looks like. 198 water... Uh, 200 steam per second consumed, so... 
one of these can almost uh, one of these per side is more than enough um but how to make it how to make it low priority i think i'd have to add a container for the steam that's not the worst idea though can we put in a nice symmetrical pair of containers not quite Hmm. Hmm. That's the only problem remaining, <laughs> is the aesthetic. We've done quite well for the aesthetic, considering the challenge for this build, I think. Um. This one's one tile too big. I really wish you could just measure how much is in a piece of pipe. What if... What if this was here? And then... That's not too bad. But we'd need a pump to control it. Inline tanks mod? Indeed. Yeah, we'll need a pump to control it, but... I can live with that. A steel pump doesn't consume any power. Unless it's in use. The only question now is the layout. Uh, maybe over here is better? Oh, wow. I didn't realize that would get that started again. Chemical plant. Oh, perfect. That's really good, actually. And I think I'll just do it like this. Actually looks more consistent. Um, do we really need the two chemical plants just in case this overfills? It's going to take a while to do that anyway. Right? Why is it only this one? Oh, I see. Now, the question is, could we somehow pull off the same trick on the other side and get away with belts? Uh, I guess they'd have to go around the side, which is not the worst thing. It'll actually make the belt look more consistent. So, just like this. It's gonna look weird if I'm not careful. Looks weird. It definitely looks a bit weird. It's not the worst. Uh, I feel like these should be underground.
That's fine. Alright, that should get the whole thing working again. But first it has to get rid of some of this steam. Oh, this side doesn't actually have an output. Um... Hmm. Almost easily remedied. Uh, not quite. It's fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves. I also forgot to have the pump output or input to control this. Damn it. I could do it like this. And then... I kind of wish we had some of the mechanics a little bit like Oni, where, well, that wouldn't even work here, because we're, like, where, where we prioritize one fluid over another based on the shape of the liquid bridges and stuff. But that wouldn't actually help here, because we're keeping the water half empty anyway. So, so what? We only need the container so that we can measure the amount that we've got. This'll work. That is so not neat or symmetrical. <laughs> F minus. Okay, how about this? Wait, where am I going to put the tank? I could put the tank over here. It doesn't have to be, like, in line. Should be fine actually. Um, and we'll have a pump for output down here and connect to the steam. No, it's not quite powered. You know, it wouldn't be the worst idea to have a pair of output stations now that I think of it. If we're going to move four belts of product, why don't we have two stations to pick it up? And that gives us an excuse to have a substation over here somewhere. Cool. So if Steam is greater than 24,000. Start paying power to turn it back into water. And then over this side. Same deal. Okay. 
really need that there. Uh, we might. The shape of this really wants me to put the input, uh, the output into the, uh, cargo, cargo train number one first. I guess we could do that. We'll just have less, um overall capacity. Limit this to like maybe one cargo wagon. That still gives us nine cargo wagons, four and a half train loads of storage here and nine train loads in total that can accumulate here. I think that's probably enough. Yeah, that seems good. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Perfectly symmetrical, as all things should be. No limit on the front one. One cargo wagon on the back one. Second column of furnaces is not connected to the water input anymore. Okay, this one. Beautiful. And why is this one not working? Because the output is full because I didn't put a loader. Okay. That's looking pretty good. It's actually... Uh, it shouldn't be able to keep up with the belts as they are without modules or anything at the moment. But it's working through a bit of a backlog. Oh wait. One, two, yeah, no, one blue belt per side. It's slightly short, but that's okay. Because this is before we give it modules. Would you mind to tell me again the name of the editor mod? Yep, editor extensions. Easily one of my favorite mods. So it looks like this is all working correctly. Uh, let's set up the LTN stuff and the train stop. That's wrong. Uh, train stop names. Vulcanite block provider. Uh, provide stack threshold 80. Short trains and long trains are permitted. This is the easy part. Thank you. You're welcome. We've already got signals, and now we're going to say uh, long trains only for drop-off. We are dropping off enriched and petroleum, and it's going into industrial furnaces to make... Vulcanite blocks. And I'm going to copy that and then edit this bit. Whoops. Damn it. Uh, this one is 
crushed vulcanite and water. Same settings on the combinators so far. Uh, enriched vulcanite, stack size 50. 8k should be two train loads. And petroleum. Uh, let's just go with. Build it up to half. And then this one will be the same because the stack size here is the same. I'm not sure if the crushed vulcanite is keeping up. It's not. Okay. We need one more belt for the crushed vulcanite. How should we go about it? That's not right. That's not right at all. It's actually only one choice. Missing the blue chest in the water name. Thank you. Okay, blue chest goes here. So it's a requester station, looking for these items, going into a furnace, and producing this item. Uh, now we go 8k, 100k, or crushed vulcanite, and water. And then, do not forget, very important, to tell LTN how much stuff is already at the station. Fantastic. Alright, uh, this looks to be working properly now. Pretty happy with that. I'm actually very happy with that. This is a very neat build considering what we had to work with. Oh, and is it powering itself? I've actually got no cheap power here. Yeah, it literally powers itself and then some. That's really cool. That's really weird now that I think about it. The process of smelting vulcanite gives us enough steam to power the process of smelting vulcanite. Alright. Let's get rid of our cheat items. And I think that's all of them. Blueprint. A vulcanite block. Exothermic reaction, indeed know some of those words. Basic, vulcanite, block, snap to grid, 8624, 55, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Put modules in it and it's gone, <laughs> indeed. Well, it depends how many efficiency modules we put in. Train stop names included. We already got rid of our cheat items. And I believe that's our block. Uh, and we could even probably give it basic beacons if we so desire. Um, yeah. We could definitely find room for basic beacons right where we've got the substations. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put this in... Probably down here. Hi Trinosaurus, hi 50, welcome, welcome. Uh, and let's decide where to build it in our main base. 
which is probably going to be right next to Enriched Vulcanite, because of course it is. What are we short on here? Sulfur still. Sulfur still? Okay. We definitely need a third block for oil already. Because we have the oil, we're just not processing it fast enough. Um, all of these uh, oil refineries are, are working 24-7. If I remember, Crastorio plus space exploration takes a little bit of time. It does indeed. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we reach the... How many episodes did we do last time? Was it like triple digits? It might go a little faster this time, um, because we know what we're doing more, but on the other hand, it might take longer because we've got totally different production chains and stuff, and I decided to put a lot of time into moving the main base very early on. Warita, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need a third block, add a fourth while you're at it, indeed. Uh, Harvey UK, good to see you again also. Where is your starter base? Uh, do you mean Nalvis? This is, this is what we've got on Nalvis. You could call this main bus kind of the starter base, unless you call this little spaghetti remains here the starter base. So here's the starter base, here's the bigger starter base, uh, here's the rail blocks to help with stuff on Hagen. Which are not working right now because we actually let the trains run out of fuel. Um, do I want to put the... Yes, there's not much choice. Actually, this would be perfect. We can pick up Enriched here and drop it off right here. Actually, actually, yeah, no, that is good, because we're picking up the enriched from this side, so the train goes on this roundabout, and then comes over here. That's a very short trip. All right, let's grab our construction train. I think I haven't given it steel underground pipes yet. Um, inactivity... 30 seconds, and I'll go grab the underground pipes. I'm sure we need more than five. Oh, we've got 50 already, actually. I'll just build what I can, then. I've never played Space Exploration slash Crustorio. I've barely beaten the main game. I think I've launched it less than three rockets total. Well, it's not necessarily about how many rockets you've launched. I've spent a lot more time refining, uh, like, omni-smelter designs than launching rockets. Is our train here yet? It is indeed. Oh, I haven't built any condenser turbines yet, I don't think. I might have queued them up in the uh, in the Omni Crafter actually. Nope. All right. We're still busy making stuff. Not too surprising. It is low priority stuff though, so that's good. Um, I think I will add condenser turbines to the low priority builds. I've been playing this game for a couple of thousand hours. It's only been a week or so since I got my final achievement. Indeed. I don't think I've hunted all the achievements. Lazy Bastard was a little bit interesting. Okay, how about I turn off my roboports, grab some rail, build out this bit of rail here. Uh, 
Actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll get the construction train to move over here. Um, once it has nothing it can do. And let's go back to the mall. Hopefully there's a condenser turbine or two by the time we get there, but it's probably just getting started. Oh, it's still on this. I don't think we have any. I'm not even sure about the whole priority system at this point, to be honest. Like, I think maybe... If we simply count on the sheer number of... uh machines to get past any prerequisite problems that might actually be better oh it needs um steam turbines which i don't think are allowed in here we have the steam turbines we do. We have 93. Alright, so we're going to allow... We're going to request one stack of steam turbines. And over here we're going to allow up to, say, two stacks of steam turbines. before it gets thrown into the, uh, back into the network. So now it's getting its steam turbines. We don't have any LDS, though. That is concerning. Uh, where's our LDS? We're missing plastic. We really need that oil. All right, let's double our oil production. Um, the only question is where we're going to put it, though. I don't want to build over this iron mine. Uh, I don't really want to landfill over here just yet. Maybe I should. Still a bit of copper in the way here. Four oil blocks? Yep. When in doubt, double it. Your iron mine up to the center of the base is not working well. Iron mine up to the center of this one. I do have some priority in place because we're trying to... It looks like we've done it actually. Uh, let me just put a chest here real quick. Actually, how much is this? It's only like 2.8k copper. Um... Okay. Actually, actually, make that a active provider. Wait, it doesn't have to be active. Anything accessible to the bot network here, the bots will get rid of it. Throw it back into the rail network, or back to the mall, I should say. Okay, let's have a look at this iron. One belt on that iron mine is not connected. Okay. So I had it prioritizing emptying this belt first. Oh, right, I forgot. There's like one tile here. Oh, has this got coverage? I believe it does. That sound means our construction train is ready to go again. Yes! We can finally put this core drill here without 
without the nagging thought that there's iron stuck under it until the end of time. Oh, there's a uh, missing underground here. Uh, and we don't need any more of these shenanigans. Fantastic. Alright, so... I was trying to figure out where we could put our oil... I kind of want to put it here. But we have to... sort of have to wait for that to be gone. Over here would make a lot of sense. Actually. Just need a little bit of landfill. And I do mean a little bit. Alright. Uh, where even is landfill? No, I was trying to keep the window up. There we go. Where's the arrow? Wait, how do I... There we go. Give to me some landfill, please. That's 14. I'm not sure that's enough. Grab a little bit more. Steal from the construction train. Oh, that's a lot, actually. Alright, oil block number three is go. Come to think of it, I could have got the construction train to do this, but I would have had to wait till it placed the landfill to give it more orders. And we know the construction train is good to go because we heard the sound. Um, I'll actually park it up here, I think. Inactivity, 30 seconds. Fantastic. I'll build what I can on the left side. I'll probably just wait till the train gets here and steal some rail, because that'll be the only parts that it can't reach, I think. And there's no need to there's no need to keep water less than full for this one, so we'll take it from the water right here. Not that the oil block itself requires insane water throughput. Sulfur definitely does. But this reduces our logistics a bit. So the fourth block is where the copper mine was. I think it probably will be here. Yeah. Once that empties. Crude oil. And something I've been putting off for ages as well is... Uh, this oil is actually still piping up through here, directly into uh, this oil block. Maybe I should just leave it like that. I mean, sure, that's one less train. I guess. I just don't like the spaghetti mess of pipes, though. It bothers me a little bit. But then I have to make a train station to pick it up. Which is not really a problem. Uh, let's see. We could even just do it like this. That 
makes a ton of sense, actually. Oh, hello. Instruction train. Thank you for the assist. Right here should be fine. Is this built? Not quite. Some people incorporate that spaghetti mess of pipes into their blocks, having oil and water by default running through it, even if the throughput is crap. Yeah, the throughput would definitely be crap, but it would be very convenient for things that don't need much throughput. But the way I deal with things like that is just to have a train bring the water. Like with the uh, Vulcanite, uh, we're not going to need a whole lot of trains bringing petroleum and water here. It's going to be consumed pretty slowly. Why am I carrying this much concrete? Be gone, concrete. Okay, wait for the bots to catch up. And there's something missing over here. Oh right, we still don't have the condenser turbines probably. Nope, no condenser turbines. What do we miss? Oh, we still have no LDS because we don't have plastic. That's why we're trying to fix oil. Well, that's one reason we're trying to fix oil. I'll just double check. Yeah, it's petroleum. We're not having any trouble with coal right now. Okay. Let's send you back uh, this way. Um, there's actually a bit of rail missing. What is this? Oh, I didn't build that yet. Did I give the construction train any... Uh, offshore pumps? I don't think I did. Let's just travel over there ourselves. And we're going to need a power pole right about here. Fantastic. And there's our refineries. Job's done. Wasn't there somewhere else? Yes, yes, yes. There, oh, there is over here. Please go over here, I guess. And wait for inactivity. before going back to reset. Hey, Robo Jumper. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, those two pieces of rail that were damaged that were in the train that take up a whole extra stack. They've been fixed. Fantastic. Okay. So we're going to do it like this. And like this. And I don't think we need anything else, really. Yeah, it's really quite simple. Um, we probably should have some more signals over here, though. Whoa, okay. Fantastic. That's fine. Now then. Pump the oil this way. And now we can start to remove 
all of those extra undergrounds. Um, is it gonna... This might waste a little bit of crude. If I don't wait. But I can't wait forever. If I do it in the right order, it should push the oil into the nearest path. I thought I hit the train. Yikes. It's because of the cooldown on using the jetpack. Oops. And that's actually it. Alright, I, I already feel better about that. Even though we had to have um, four rail blocks with messed up bits of them over here. Uh, this is definitely an improvement. Hey, we're picking up petroleum. What do you know? Where are you going with that? Not to our new build. How's our petroleum over here? 12k already? Not too bad. Um, so where are we doing the next one? I thought I'd left a, a ghost over here, but it's actually an Immersite cave. After weeks of bad sleep, T-Hex can now finally sleep again. Somewhat, yes, indeed. I'll always lose sleep over the slight asymmetries we have to put up with. How is the copper? The copper is 1.7k. It's actually most of it is still there actually. We really just need to find a way to fit more, more drill here. That might help. All right. Well, maybe we should just build what we can here in the meantime. Uh, let's see, crude oil, we're going to be able to build almost all of it, can't really get the roundabout done though. Bring our construction train. Is it not fully loaded? It's missing a cargo landing pad. Doesn't have room for a cargo landing pad. What the hell? Oh, did we not send it back to the emptier? Because there's one piece of rail in this cargo wagon that there probably shouldn't be. Speed modules, I guess. Uh, there's only like, t there's 1.5k left, it's not going to take that long. Oh, we got some spaghetti here from the, uh, from the leftovers. Let's bring power poles this way for now. Leftover spaghetti, best spaghetti. And 
obviously we can take water from here somewhere. Uh, construction train should almost be loaded. What happened to the nav set? Isn't this the display of like things that the train net, uh, things that logistic network is up to? Yeah. So these are all the things we're trying to construct right now. And now it's gone. Because I stepped out of this logistic network. Um, I don't like the way that's interacting with FNEI. How do I turn that off again? I don't remember what mod it was. Was it auto trash? Is this it? Show status display? I think it was. Uh, I mean, that's very useful information, but just the way it messed around with FNEI and the NAVSAT view, I'm not a fan of that. It'd be nice if it could go down the bottom. Uh, I keep forgetting I have to change this to inactivity. Inri Inri, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Favorite British Factorio streamer. Ouch. Ouchie. Give me some rail. Oh, and some landfill. That's the main reason I wanted to bring the train over here. There isn't any landfill. Uh, I need to go back for the landfill, I guess. We'll wait till the train's done its thing. Australian, indeed. I had a blue-collar job once where a co-worker asked me where I was from. Feels... non-accent, man. Just hop in the train, it'll take you to the landfill. Indeed it will. I'm just helping it build before then. Uh, Gazownik, thank you very much for the three months of Prime. Much appreciated. Thank you. Anyone speaking English without a US accent must be British. Wow. We actually still need a few huge storage tanks as well. Um, I might... Oh. Oh, I see. We've probably still got rail, right? Let's head over here for a few seconds. Oh, the bots are tired. I'll give it a hand. Or rather, the roboports are probably not keeping up because we're asking a lot of the construction train lately, and we haven't switched it over to using Tesla. Um, so we'll send this home. And something I talked about doing while I was on Granis, but I can't do this remotely. Uh, I want to swap out these big sort of uh, big portable solar panels and give it a tesla um where is it it's basically a charging station gb and au are not far away from each other still the same planet <laughs> indeed uh okay so we need I made one on Nalvis. Here it is. Energy Absorber. That goes in the train. It's actually only 2x2. Two two. So I guess we'll keep like 4 of the solar panels and do 1 Energy Absorber per cargo wagon. Um, it also holds onto a bunch of charge. 5 megajoules. That's not much compared to 1 personal roboport. It's actually the same 
as one personal RoboPort, I think. No, that's not right. That's the output rate. Anyway, what I want to do here is have a separate power network because I don't particularly want the train consuming tons of power. Um, whenever we aggressively recharge the robots. So what I might do is put a bunch of wind turbines and accumulators. How much power is this? Nowhere near enough, because we're trying to... Wait, because we're trying to what? Recharge RoboPorts. Logistic bots. Hmm. Um, I basically want this... Like, I don't want to go all in on this area powering itself, but I want it to be kind of a low priority. Here's the thing. When I recharge a million personal RoboPorts, I don't want to be consuming nuclear fuel to do it. Um, it's not that urgent. But... It does use a lot of energy to move this stuff around. You know what? We're not even using nuclear power right now. I just remembered. Uh, we actually have basically no fuel left, and we stopped using it. We added a bunch more renewable uh, biomethanol. So I don't know what I'm worried about. Uh, how are you? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When I did drink beer, it was through a funnel. Indeed. Lone Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Here's seeing Walnuts. Good to see you again. On B, welcome, welcome. Also, anyone playing C blocks swears. I know JD swears a lot when he's doing C block. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Robot Wars, welcome, welcome. Also, all right. Let's just reconnect this to the main network. I don't know what I was worrying about. Uh, we need to make three of these energy absorbers. For that, I just need a handful of batteries. I'll just handcraft them. One, two, three. And we need a building... I can't remember what it's called. We have it on Nalvis. Right about... here? Tesla coil. Uh, let's see. Coil me up. And I think just one Tesla coil will prob probably be able to reach all of the cargo wagons. We're soon to find out. All right, here it goes. 20 seconds. To be honest, I don't like the energy absorbers. Last time I used them, it was very slow. Uh, well, it's going to be faster than one more solar panel to recharge all of these RoboPorts. Okay, I think this is probably enough range. Oh, yep. Yeah. Actually, I wonder if this is enough range. It is. That's cool. How fast is it charging? Um... Did I miss tea hacks being mistaken for a disgusting limey bread? Indeed, Mikey. Good to see you again. 
welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Looks like the turbines can't keep up. I actually connected it to the whole power network. We've got hundreds of megawatts to spare right now. Oh. Only one of them is charging now. That was the one full of rail. Do we have limited throughput with just the one Tesla coil? Consumption 60 kilowatts, energy capacity 60 megajoules? Huh? Does it consume 60 kilowatts just all the time? Yeah, that's actually still slower than I thought it would be. I mean, it's still a pretty big improvement. This is what I meant, yeah. I don't know, do I go, do I like triple the number of energy absorbers? Or are we actually bottlenecked on the one Tesla coil? It doesn't really tell us enough. And I can't think of a way I could use editor extensions to test this without going to another save. You can't add either, they are limited to one each. Oh, okay. So this is about as good as it gets? We're still back to the point where the bots can work, so... Uh, it, it is saving time. Also, did we get the bots to come back? I think we did. Yeah, it's not that far away. Yeah, because normally it, this thing fills it up to one stack of bots. So these ones clearly came back. Alright. Should I wait for this to charge more? We've already built almost all of the rail, so probably not. I'm just going to grab landfill myself. Cargo wagon equipment grid is part of K2SE. Yes, it is. There's also a mod called uh, vehicle equipment grid, if you want that separately. And... Oh, I killed a fishy. Sorry, fishy. This goes up here. Why don't we just fill that in? No! Why does it disappear the fish when they're like a tile away or two? Alright. Let's finish our roundabout. Hopefully that's enough. Um, I might want to drop the RoboPort. Oh, this is empty. Good timing. My inventory is full. Okay. Yes, I know, my inventory is full. Oh, the bots are... That's fine. Alright, let's see... Crude... Oil... Need a little bit more landfill over here... But I have a bit more over here... Fantastic. Uh, we're actually missing a signal here. See, why did that delete the fish that was like two tiles away? Train should be able to get around this now. Alright, let's get ourselves some water. Water. 
very convenient. And I don't suppose I could just make this a substation. No, it won't reach anyway. Let's just add a power pole over here. Really? Right, fine. Is that not working? I missed a piece of pipe, didn't I? There we go. Alright, so we just added two oil blocks for a total of four. Hopefully that's enough to get everything working again. Nice. Hey Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Or fishies, indeed. I'd recommend Ghost Planet as well, but that has given some people some UPS issues. Okay, I might have to stay away from that. Um, we are trying not to end up with 15 UPS this time. Okay, that looks a bit spaghettified. Is this actually part of the blueprint? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's actually... It, it looks so messy, but it's actually as neat as we can get it, really. Because we can't quite reach the huge storage tanks from... Uh, from here. Alright, and that's 3.7k petroleum already. Fantastic. Now then, how is sulfur? Sulfur is happy. How is plastic? Plastic is not yet happy. How is LDS? LDS needs plastic. How is uh, vulcanite blocks? Vulcanite blocks has no petroleum. As expected for now. There is a train no pathing near the third oil block. Uh, this one? That's our vanilla train that picks up stuff that needs to go back to the mall. In this case, space capsules and cargo rocket sections. There you go. And we're actually finished with this. Let's drop the provide stack threshold to one. Get rid of all this. Um, I just might make that a... You know what, why don't I just carry this home? Might be easier this time. Okay. It's very heavy. Does it... Uh, don't strain your back, <laughs> indeed. How many tons of stuff would I be carrying right now? Or is is tons not a good enough, not a strong enough metric? Okay, so we've doubled our oil. We've got four blocks now. Let's confirm that all of the machines are actually working continuously. This would be exactly the point where... oh. Oh. Give me some of that landfill back. This would be exactly the point where Satisfactory's feature where you can see 
the production stats on individual machines would be fantastic. See the percentage of uptime it's had recently. There we go. Right, so both of the new blocks have refineries working continuously. Both of the old blocks have refineries working continuously. We are getting 336 petroleum per second, not counting cracking. Imagine carrying at least one train. Is that a train in your pocket? Alright, back we go. And time to figure out what comes next. I am rather a little bit disappointed that we really can't have more than 50 logistic bots per block. Because the bot interference wind is just that bad. Alright, uh, condenser turbines. If we don't have any of those by now, I'll handcraft them. Because we don't have any LDS, that means I can't handcraft them. I can just take some LDS from here. We're going to be waiting a minute on that plastic, I think. Um, how much petroleum do we have stored? 17k... 22k, 21k, and 26k. I think we're going to have enough throughput. We just haven't reached the threshold where we get it where it needs to go. Alright. Give me LDS. -y. We're going to take all of it to the mall. I guess we're going to take this much of it to the mall, actually. It's probably for the best. How's that? New core mine next to the iron patch. Good point. Let's drop off the LDS first. And where's our drill? It's right here. Fantastic. They're actually taking their sweet time picking this up. Very busy. Busy little worker bees. Oh yeah, I needed some LDS to make six condenser turbines. I need some glass as well. One, two... Oh, I'm handcrafting the steam turbines? Let's not... Not condenser tur Oh, we do have some condenser turbines now. Wow. That was fast. That was very fast. Well, no handcrafting this time. And it goes down here. Fantastic. Alright. Let's not forget to put tags. Vulcanite blocks here. And... I'm just going to put a tag here to show cargo landing pads. Oh, there was a rocket crash. Uh, this is a good opportunity to see how... Okay, so with the position that the rocket crashed this time, we definitely have enough range on our roboports to fix that up. Rocket crash on Hagen, indeed. And it is working, having construction bots bring all the stuff. Um, we should probably have more construction bots. 
Like, why did I limit this to one stack? Oh, I did limit it to available construction bots, so if we have zero available, right now LTN should be trying to schedule a delivery? Unless... We've got 156 available. Provide threshold is only 10. What are you doing with the LDS? Trying to send stuff to science. Oh. Wait, is the storage full? Thought we calculated twice. What's the train limit up here? Is that why we're not scheduling? There's no train limit. Uh, I get the feeling there's no storage space here, regardless. Alright, let's add some storage to it. Again. Even though we thought we calculated it so that it would definitely have more than enough storage space. Some over here. Fantastic. Is there a way to see available logistic storage in a network? Not to my knowledge. Not that I recall. Okay. Why don't you just deliver what you've got? And then core mining drill. Let's go. I actually haven't decided which direction I want this to be. Almost definitely over here. Oh, it's actually going to fit at the bottom right of the rail block. But it's not like we can do that right now. And it's not like it'll be hard to move it. So let's just do it like this. And we're going to use Delivery Cannon Chest. Uh, and we're going to have an accumulator so that we can stop if our power is low. we went with accumulated charge has to be greater than 20%. Fantastic. And give it a, luckily this mine is finished. Let's give it a name. Provider. Fantastic. Good morning. LTN sometimes is temperamental, indeed. Ezriak, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, LSF, welcome, welcome also. Is it possible to set receipt to delivery cannon by crafting combinator? Receipt to delivery cannon? Oh, as in set requests on a delivery cannon, just like a requester chest. Uh, in a roundabout way, yes. So nice to relax trying to find alternative solutions for you after a hard week. Indeed. Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to need a bit of rail and some signals over here. I think this thing's going to work. We don't really need this rail right now. And 
then we should have a train coming once we get to uh, a bit more than double what we've already got. Fantastic. Alright, what's next? We got the coal mining drill fixed. We got the steam turbines for when we eventually get petroleum over here. Maybe... oh, there's a few things missing. Let's go build those. Maybe I'll bump up the priority just once so that we can see if it's working properly. Thirty four K twenty nine K thirty four K and fifty nine K. Oh, it's being picked up right this second. And it's not it's going to sulfur. Did I prior sulfur? I probably did. So that means all of the petroleum is gonna go to sulfur until things settle down. Um I don't disagree with that, but for the moment, we want to, wow that was fast, oh that's um, enriched vulcanite, uh, for now we, we do want to test this, and it does have every other input already, I could drop the request threshold a bit as well. So that should give us a delivery pretty much straight away. As soon as the light goes yellow, I'll change it back. As soon as the light goes yellow, I'll change it back. There, there it is. Okay. And we don't need the priority now. Fantastic. Okay. How's our science doing? Is it still chugging along? We need iron. Alright, this is a good chance to look at our auto delivery system. Is it trying to fill it with sulfur first? That we don't have? Because it's probably trying to fill up an awful lot of stuff right now. Yeah. Like, it'll work perfectly eventually, but it's a bit rough getting this thing started. I could just force it to... send something of a combination rocket right now. I could drop the requests for sulfur. We've already got how much sulfur? Loaded up? 18k. So if I change this to... 18k sulfur... We're going to start putting in something else as well. We're actually going to remove a bit of sulfur. The only reason we're asking for 500 stacks of each resource is theoretically we could end up completely out of one resource and we want it to... and not missing any other resource. I know that sounds incredibly likely. Um, and we want it to fill up so that it auto-launches. But now it's loading glass... And I think it's going to load up, um, I would have thought it would load glass, then, uh, advanced circuits, and then iron. But for some reason it was doing sulfur first. And a bit of ice. 
Oh, right. This is sorted by volume on the signals, not by uh, item ID. That makes sense. Chat plays words, you get a coffee, and the bass catches up? Uh, perhaps. I haven't gotten to the point where I feel that much of a need for a break just yet, but soon. On the other hand, uh, I may be blanking for the moment on what I should be doing. So that's not the worst idea. We've kind of built everything and fixed everything for the moment that we know of. I'd really like to get some iron delivered, though. But I think... Iron plate... What is this? Oh, we've got emisite plate now. Emisite gear wheel, emisite beam. So this is iron slash steel 3.0, it feels like. Um, glass comes before iron... Wait, what am I looking through? Yeah, glass comes before iron, silicon comes before iron. Quartz and sand. I don't think we're requesting those other than silicon. It looks like we'll be asking for 20k silicon as well. Yeah, so we're probably sending another rocket before we automatically load more iron. Even after I just dropped the amount of sulfur we're requesting. Alright, let's just give it some time then. Uh, I'll just give it a save right there. Let's throw up some words on stream. Oof, I only just launched my browser. There we go. Oh, let's keep the game moving. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? With space exploration. How's our rocket looking? Uh, we're still... We're still loading glass. I definitely feel like I should have done more than a single... Hmm. Uh, maybe I should just skip the active provider chest here and use a loader to put straight from the requester chest into the, into the cargo rocket silo at 45 items per second. And we can just take out the excess. That should be fine, honestly. I think occasionally we're going to end up sending a little bit extra uh, stuff into space, but I don't think I care about that. Wait, what? Why does the inserter have a signal E is greater than negative a million? Oh, I see. As long as the rocket isn't full, we're doing this. That's fine. Um... We don't need to control the stack size, or the filter. I'm sure this has to go somewhere. Oh, it does, it goes here, okay. So we can just do that. And something's wrong. Oh, there we go. So the amount we're requesting here will drop as we put... Well, no, it won't drop as we put more into the cargo rocket, I don't think. Yes, it will. Yeah, this is the amount being requested upstairs minus what is in the cargo rocket. I could probably limit this to one stack, to be honest. And that way we won't end up oversupplying it by many stacks. Obviously I could put this a bit closer as well. Um, we do still have the stack filter inserter that's going to take out precisely the amount of excess of whatever resource that ends up in here. I don't like that we're wasting a stack, like three quarters of a stack of water ice here, but... Um, I can't really think of a good way to change it. Unless we simply never took anything out of this. But then we would have put precisely the right amount in to begin with. It's fine. I think the request for glass is large. Indeed it is. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I dropped the... Um, limited the chest to one stack. It's fine, indeed. Maholic, Bungie Bar, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Emo, good to see you again also. Alright, um, so 45 items per second is not going to take nearly as long uh, to fill this rocket. But let's give it a hand. And they're still going. I could even double this. That might be entirely sensible, to be honest. Um, let's move this storage chest. Let's move this guy. Let's put this here. And... And that's it. 
90 items per second, two and a bit seconds per stack of glass. It's not too bad, actually. It's, uh, no, this one's not set up properly. I was going to say it's a little hard to see that this is moving, but it's not. It is now. Yeah, that's more what we're looking for. Played long magic game and I missed words on stream. Oh, rip. Uh, don't worry, Veldak. I messed up the words on stream, starting it early and then cancelling it and then not having it displaying for the first half of the first level. It'll be better next time, I promise. Who is the best at words? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you want the top ranking for the last game, marked at home. Do you, do you name your cargo pot, uh, pads per solar system? Uh, no. Well, I haven't done any interstellar cargo pads this playthrough, but last time... Uh, last time I called it by the planet name, I think. So, there's that. Alright, rocket away soon. Somehow I ended up at the top of the leaderboard for the last words on stream, but the two levels were really strange and weren't easy. Yeah, the variance for words on stream difficulty is somewhat high. I mean, it's mostly pretty consistent, but the extreme, the extremities of the variance can be a bit much. Okay. Um, only problem with this is I didn't put in a safeguard to make sure we got the cargo rocket parts loaded. I could either... Where, where could I squeeze in this logic while keeping it compact, I wonder? I mean, it looks like as long as we have the cargo rocket sections, it's not going to have a problem loading, but that's definitely not a guarantee over the long run. So, so what? I think I have to put a space for a belt here just so we can stop it. Okay. Can we move this ice? Do we even have construction bots here? We don't. Alright then. Luckily, we can rotate that with picket dollies. And over here, I want... Uh, probably just red wire from here. And we're going to look for the ready-to-launch signal. And that should be fine. So the moment we get, um, oh, it's taking ice out. What are we trying to send at the moment? Glass. There we go. Now it's loading. So let's see. We're still trying to load 50k glass, which is like a bit more than half a rocket. Um, and I think after glass comes silicon, and after silicon comes iron. Depending on how much silicon we have, not a whole lot. We're probably going to send one more rocket before we send any iron. Um, I might just build this rocket with iron and send it so we don't have to wait for that. 
Is it 50k? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 50k. What's the goal for today? Uh, I don't really have a goal. We're just chasing squirrels and fixing things up. Uh, we got Vulcanite built, but we don't have the petroleum. Oh, we did have some petroleum here. We have half a train load, almost, on each side of Vulcanite. Not too shabby. Is that how much we get out of one train load of petroleum? No. Oh, we've actually used up... Oh. We're not bottlenecked on petroleum. We're bottlenecked on enriched vulcanite, which is kind of sort of good. So how fast is this? Uh, 14.4 per second... Versus 192 per second. Do you think we overbuilt this a little bit? Um, even if we are trying to future-proof it. Do, do you think maybe this was a little bit unnecessary? For the moment. It's fine. Should I actually even double Enriched Vulcanite? Or... I'm guessing we... I'm guessing we probably already will have, like, way more Vulcanite blocks than we need for a while. What do we actually need them for? I haven't even really asked that question yet. I think it goes into science. Four Vulcanite blocks for three production science packs. Um, so it's almost one to one. And we've got... Like... Almost 14k? Yeah, I think we're fine. What else do we need the Vulcanite blocks for? Uh, prod 3s? 50 Vulcanite blocks for one prod 3? Really? Wow. That is... Did we accidentally play on 10 times resources? Jeez. Uh, we need it to make rare metals out of enriched rare metals. We need it to make pyroflux if we want to do that at scale. It's probably the only way to do it. Uh, one vulcanite makes ten pyroflux. We need it to make cation iron beads. I know we're going to need a lot of that eventually, but... Don't really have to worry about it yet. We can use it for probably a more efficient way to make silicon. But we've already got silicon in abundance. And vulcanite is scarce for now. So not too excited about that one. Apparently we need it for heavy girders. Nequium cube. Uh, some kind of vitamelange recipe. Apparently spice is now complicated. 40 vitamelange spice, 10% extract, and we have to deal with methane. We also need it for vitalic reagent. That's not for a while. Okay, so basically all we need it for for the moment is science, and we are already absolutely saturated in it. We haven't even made the production science yet. How's uranium? Uh, we don't really have it. Oh, we haven't done um, cover X because we need the production science packs. Don't check the higher ones if you don't like the T3 costs, indeed. Two water ice? Oh, here is a flaw that I didn't think of. We're going to we're gonna pretty much waste one stack every time we launch the rocket for each resource that a little bit has been consumed because we're not doing some kind of latch circuitry. It's probably fine. What are we trying to load right now? Um... 
Glass, advanced circuits, silicon, iron plate. 19k silicon, stack size 50. That's most of a cargo rocket. So yeah, we definitely want to send this iron early. Um, the butts are taking a little while to load it though. Wasting 0.2% is fine. No, zero waste. It's the only acceptable outcome. Uh, let's see. I need some room for iron plate here. Give the bots a hand. It seem, seems like the bots are actually mostly keeping up with the trains. We don't normally keep by, uh, 50,000 iron plate here, after all. Do we have silicon? We have a little bit of silicon. Do we not request? I guess we do. Shove some silicon in there as well. Deal. Oh, and we are using up our old ingots as well. Well, that's empty. Give me some more. 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 Alright, that's 300 stacks of iron. Uh, what if I go up here? Might be a bit quicker. Straight to the source. Two or three more trips like this and it'll be full. Fantastic. Um, maybe I could add a circuit to the cargo rocket that makes it wait like a minute after the cargo has been filled. Maybe not a minute. But yeah, we know we know why we were producing so much sulfur. Because it's all going to space until we reach a certain point. But it looks like we're continuously making um, sulfur now. Sulfur has been continuous for about 20 minutes. Beautiful. And we're full. Launch delayed. Taken, orbit, launch manual, delayed just means I haven't clicked the button yet. Hagen, orbit, landing pad. Let's just double check since I'm manually launching. Oh, this is good timing actually. Um, because we need an empty landing pad, pretty much. Did you abandon the idea of recycling pollution? Uh, there's actually no biters on this planet. If you mean the air filters, then kind of, yeah. I was doing that on Nalvis, where we did have biters. Well, we do have biters on Nalvis, but um, we pushed them back so far that they're not a problem anymore. Oh, the pollution cloud has reappeared. Because I automated a bunch of resupply of um, of tech cards, that's why. 
for resources? Um, I'm not aware of how to do that. Alright, oh, we can turn this off now. That's fine. Cool. And that should get science moving again. And hopefully the automatic resupply system can get through all the different resources before... Um... Maybe there's absolutely no reason to load only one resource at a time here. That actually seems pretty obvious. If I set filters for as many of these as we can accept at once, use inserters, the loading's going to be slower though. I think we'll stick with this just because the loading's faster. Except, instead of anything, we'll use each. So, the bots can put in whatever. All the different resources that we're trying to put in here. I imagine... I was going to say I imagine the loaders will pick one thing first, but... It doesn't seem to be working that way. Oh, this is actually a much better design. <laughs> as chaotic as it looks, um, at least we're not trying to load every single resource one by one before we finally send the next type of resource. That's actually going to be way more robust. A good mix, indeed. Yeah, I like this a lot more. Because the bots don't care if the if the uh, if the containers are neat. Absolutely not. Divide the requests by two for chests. Um, I'd have to replace it with an arithmetic combinator. It really doesn't matter if the bots are bringing more than they need to. So 0 to 100, 100 to 200? What was the change? Use of loaders instead of inserters. Mostly that, yes. Um, and also we've doubled it up. Well, Bros, happy accidents, indeed. Uh, so that should be launching, right? Oh, it's waiting for the cargo landing pad to be empty. Cool, cool, cool. That means the moment this launches, um, if we didn't already, we should have everything we need. Like, every time this launches, theoretically, we should have everything we need to keep science going for a while. Nice would it be worth using loaders instead of inserters at the landing pad as well? Yeah, I was thinking that, actually. Do we have loaders up here? We do not. It's fine. It won't ultimately bottleneck on this. And science is in motion for the moment. So now we just need to deliver probably just Vulcanite blocks as well. Um, let's see. U utility, I mean, production science pack. We need prod ones. Iron ingots. Oh, that's rude. We've got iron ingots, but we're not actually producing them here. So I might have to use Vulcanite blocks to make, uh, to make Pyroflux. 
because the only pyroflux we're getting is from core mining, and that is, of course, abysmal. Even the pyroflux that we get from vulcanite core fragments is pretty terrible. This is actually saturated. Huh. Oh, because this was full for a while, I think. I could be wrong. Let me just check. We've got... We're able to process 20 core fragments per second. I'm pretty sure we're not mining that many. We've got like one, two... Not three. Three... I think four. Because I like to do something squared. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four drills. So, 17 per second. Yeah, our existing core fragment processing can keep up with this. It's just backed up. Fantastic. And this whole thing is still working. Good, good, good. We're actually full on coal at Hagen. That's why this isn't launching now. Uh, let's see. Yep, coal drop-off still has plenty of coal. You love to see it happen. Alright, so... We need uranium-238, which we've got way too much of. And we need iron ingots. Hmm. And plasma stream. Oh, no. Lithium plus chemical gel. So we need lithium as well. I don't think we sent lithium up. This is getting to be too many different types of items that we have to send up here. Whoops. Okay. Um, we might have to take a few machine learning data and put it into the robot network. Do we have another space assembler or do I have to go up there? Uh, maybe I can arrange for it to be made. Manufacturer, that's what I meant. But we need the cosmic water. We can get that from here. Um, how about I just move this solar panel? And we'll put a requester. Fantastic. Uh, and we don't have any LDS. Wait, wasn't all the LDS going to be delivered? I bet it's all here still. Yeah, we got... Th well, 3.2k is not so good. We're playing major catch-up since sending so many resources to space. I'm thinking of just sending all my core fragments to Nalvis. That's what I'm doing, except that it's not Nalvis. Um, except late game, I will be pulling out one weird trick to make the logistics for the core fragments much shorter. But also, also, especially depending on production modules, um, it can actually be... It depends on the core fragments. Um, but it can actually be better to move them as core fragments, unless you're going to go all the way to moving ingots. Um, but 
I really don't want outposts that are a sprawling mess every time. I want the minimum for each outpost. Okay. So we need to add lithium and iron ingots. Um, and I did actually just set it to a couple of train loads for each of these. Okay, good. Um, lithium. Stack size 50, I'm guessing. Indeed. Iron ingot. We do have some still, I think. How many iron ingots? Uh, we're actually getting really... Oh. We've got way more iron ingots than I thought we would. Do we still have... Um... A backlog on Nalvis, even though... Even though the trains haven't been moving. Nope. This is where it stops for now. Uh, but yeah, we actually have like... 12,000 iron ingots still. Which is nice. Alright, so we're looking for... I, I really probably don't need to set these to 50 stacks. Um... Iron ingot. But I guess it doesn't hurt. Then again, we don't have 25,000 iron ingots. What was the other one? Lithium. Lithium. Um. We need lithium because plasma stream, right? Yeah, chemical gel plus lithium. How do we make it? Well, like, what machine? We need a plasma generator. I believe we're out of LDS, though. Oh, here's some. Just a little bit. Right, what was I doing? I need to make a plasma generator. Can we do that without a fluid? Why is the construction bot not bringing this? Because there isn't one? I thought we had like a stack. Oh. Don't tell me all the space assembly machines are in here. Yes, they are. Alright, well, we only need one of these. Let's stop the input once it gets to 80 LDS. There we go. We'll hold on to the rest of this stuff for now. Don't filter copper out of landing pad? Uh, true. Blacklist, nothing. I don't even remember why we did that. Okay, uh, plasma? I'm, I'm guessing we need to make that in the space manufacturing. Plasma generator. Yes. Okay. So we need two things here. At least. Uh, no, I think we need this machine to make something. 
Util... I mean... Production Science Pack? Uh, we need it to make the Production Science Packs itself. And we need it to make a... Uh, what's it? A pl one off. We need it to make a plasma generator. Plasma generator. It doesn't need any fluid. Fantastic. Let's get a requester chest over here. Silent storm. Good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. But tell me we're already out of LDS. Do we still have some in here? We do not. We're going to be waiting a bit on LDS because plastic, which is a lower priority than sulfur. Maybe I should drop the sulfur priority for the moment. Or just make plastic an equally high priority. It's going to be a prerequisite in a lot of things, right? I mean, especially if we include LDS as being plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's prioritize this. Same priority as... Uh, sulfur. Wait, what am I doing? Priority one? And priority one. Fantastic. Should see a request for that very, very soon. Mine Mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That did not take long at all. So I guess it really was just dumping all of the petroleum over here. Because we're request we're trying to ask for 200k, that's why. Which normally not that bad of an idea considering how much depends on sulfur. Okay. So now we are going to get plastic. We'll get Divided by 10, that's how many plastic bars we get. Uh, so 5,000. Which is... Not enough for one train load, but it'll bump this up to one train load very easily. More to the point, we'll get more and more and more petroleum delivered over there. Here's another 50k. Here's 46k. Here's 21k. I'm pretty sure we do have enough uh, oil refineries at this point. Alright, so back to figuring out what we're doing in space. Zero LDS. Uh, it kind of hurts a little bit. That's why we're stalled. That's why we're looking at plastic right now. Hmm. We've got 3.2k over here. Oh, it is putting LDS in here. 82? Hmm. Hmm. The arbitrary ordering of, like, it's an improvement over just one resource per cargo wagon, but the arbitrary ordering of what we put in the cargo rocket based on the loaders is kind of, I don't know, seems like it just picks whatever's in the last stack. Well, it is going through cargo rockets a lot more quickly now. 
I don't think we have any shortage of cargo rocket sections. Um, okay, we do have a little bit of a shortage. Because there's no LDS, of course. But how many cargo rockets can we send? We've got 20 times 5. That's another rocket. That's about one more rocket, actually. No, we've got... 420 packed cargo rocket sections, actually. Alright, I think we're going to be okay in terms of... Huh? Oh, this is going to Granus. What about over here? Right. We've got one packed cargo rocket section. 420, hmm. Do you have a limit for the core miners you want to use? Uh, not really. It's just a question of when we've decided the, um, uh, the diminishing returns are not really worth it. Um, although on each outpost, after we go to, like, 9 or 16 or at best, um, 25, 25 is equivalent to the first core miner times five. Um, like, we're going to have to go further and further out as well as give it more power for diminishing returns. Um, so I think we're going to stop at like 16 to 25. If that. Um, on each outpost. I could, whatever the sweet spot is, because I want... Um, once we trim the surface, I want a relatively small area that that has to be written every time we save the game, right? So we've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know. 2000 radius planet doesn't give us the highest rate of core fragments either. Probably like nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or something. So the equivalent of three core mining drills, uh, the first one times three for each planet. Because uh, it doesn't matter where the planets are once we once we exploit Foenestra for travel. Um, we're not going to have to pay fuel or time to go all the way out here. So more surfaces, but small surfaces. Some good info. Thank you. You can manually stuff a bunch of LDS. Yeah, I think I will do that. Um, how's this one doing? We got 3.2k LDS, and the rocket is about to be full, actually. I might just wait for the next one. There, there's uh, 82. Well, it's too late now. It's not too late now, because it's still unloading this stuff. Okay, that's actually... I'm, I'm a little shocked to say it, but that's actually a significant bottleneck. This was just a shopping list. I'm going to move that out of the way. How many bots are active? 50. Except 48 times 9, we can almost fit a whole cargo rocket in these chests as well. The bots will catch up. This looks like about the same speed as we can load the cargo rockets. So we'd be bottlenecked on the bots, which I'm not putting more than 50 up here. I don't want them crashing. So that's fine, I guess. Um, well, at least we'll get enough LDS to make this thing. Unless, of course, the LDS goes somewhere else first. Which it probably will. 
Why do we use LDS? For the science. I don't recall. Low density structure. Hold up, what? Cosmic water decontamination isn't working because there's no scrap output. Uh, contaminated scrap output, to be precise. Space scaffolding. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we might want to stop that for now. Um, until we get a handle on things. I think we've got... We got 4.8k sca uh, space scaffolding. It's more than enough to expand this a little bit to do prod science. So we'll stop consuming every bit of LDS we send up this way. Um, as far as I know, we don't actually need LDS for science yet. Okay. That's almost a thousand utility science packs saved up as well. Cool. Beryllium cargo rocket sections, methane ice, fluid isometric, lab research uh, efficiency module. Yeah, we've literally queued up. Oh, here it is. Electromagnetics facility. Hypercooling 2. Advanced electric engine. Portable emisite solar panels. Personal laser defense mark 2. Wait, why can't I research? Oh, I'm already doing that. Military 5. And I'm not caring about artillery shells right now. Yeah, we can pretty much do everything... Um, that only needs utility packs. LDS for space belt. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, cool. Good to know. We do have a lot of um, space belt saved up here at the moment. I might just... I don't even need a wire. Um, space belt. Less than... How much LDS does it need? Literally just one, and it takes 10 seconds. Alright, cool. We got our LDS here, all 82 of them. Um, can we get, oh, how about this, whitelist LDS, specifically, there we go, give me all 60 of those, fantastic. All right. Now we figure out where we're going to put that. Plasma. Plasma, plasma, plasma generator. Um, I can't see the recipe until we put it down. There's only one recipe. Uh, and we just need... Chemical gel. So I'm probably going to put that here. I can actually pick a dollies, this giant machine. And we needed the chemical, uh, the plasma stream because it goes straight into 
Uh, prod science, actually. Okay. A bit more scaffolding down here. Probably put this here. Yes, I can. I'll just line that up like so. I'll pick a dollies this across once I'm sure I want to commit. Uh, we need a bunch of stuff that's physical. We've already got the Vulcanite. Wait, we've already got the Vulcanite. I don't remember even setting a request over here. Uh, where is it for the Vulcanite? How did we get Vulcanite cubes up there? What? Don't you get some Vulcanite in a chest at Nalvis Orbit Ruins? Is that how we got it? Vulcanite. We've got 84. And 8. Yeah, that might have been it. Did you put it in manually? I must have. Alright, um, I've requested ingots. We've got this here. I thought we had this here. Wait, what? Oh, it's outputting scrap as well. Oh no. Um, well, that reminds me that I have room down here for a filter inserter. Uh, what's it called? Machine Learning Data. And just one stack. Actually, not even that. Just, just put Machine Learning Data into the network. If there's no Machine Learning Data in the network. The next one... We'll go in here. I believe. Fantastic. Alright, that just leaves prod module, uranium and iron ingot. Oh, and lithium goes over here. Prod module one. I hope we've got everything we need for it. Did you set it to less than zero? Will that work? Uh, that was the default. It, I set it to equals zero. How many does it take? Only one. All right, cool. Um, prod one, right? We need stuff we've already got. Fantastic. Electronic circuit, electronic components, glass. And... Iron ink... Uh, these things just need to be added to orbit. Um, and then... This should probably be a buffer chest. Do we have a buffer chest handy? I'm sure we can make one. Oh, we do have one handy. Alright, cool. Rod... Action... Science pack... I must have done this after a while. Yeah, let's let's limit these to one stack or something. A 
maybe a thousand. I don't mind accumulating a thousand signs. Is that the new science lab? Indeed it is. It's very cool, isn't it? Science spins. This is a fact. Okay, so... Passive provider. Go here. We're gonna have to deal with the junk data cards. Um, we are dealing with those somewhere. Are we not? I think we're just accumulating them. Yeah, we've got 3.4k junk. Okay then. Um, and we're not going to output unless... Rod science is less than 1k. Cool. Now, how about those iron ingots? We've got 10k here, fantastic. We don't have cargo rocket sections, that's not fantastic. I'll steal from the block that has way too many of them. Um, that's ultimately getting us coal and vulcanite core fragments, which we are massively oversupplied on. What's this train doing? Oh, it was coming for the 23 core fragments? I'm sorry. The core fragments you have dialed are not in service. Please check the station and try again. Or Ayur, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Oh, I see why I'm requesting so many of these here. Alright, well, for now, I'm just going to steal as many as I can. No, 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 no. As many as I can carry and take them back to this block. So we can launch some rockets. Okay, and I might want to force... Oh, yeah, yeah, we need uranium here as well. Uranium, a couple of train loads. And uranium uh, lots. What's the bunk for? Is that the new science lab? Indeed it is. Poor train. Aw. Don't have pic enough pixels to see? Oh, you didn't. Okay. Are we okay with dropped frame zero? Seems good. Okay, cool. Um, so we're looking for a cargo rocket full of uranium should be already getting delivered. There it goes. Some cargo thingies still in your inventory. Thank you. Uh, so it won't last with the ingots, but we should have fully automated resupply of uh, everything that needs to go upstairs. I wish we could... hmm... I wish we could kind of pulse it so that they would fill this chest and then let it empty or something. I should probably just do more of these. But with a stack limit of one each. Seems 
reasonable. Perhaps. I wish you could automate changing the limits and filters of containers. Um, that'd be kind of complicated, though. So we are looking for ingots, right? Oh, I don't see the request for ingots. Uh, I definitely added... I put them in as a negative. We're not supposed to have negatives up here. This is not LTN. That should do it. Fantastic. Lock slots to a certain type of item, indeed. Yeah, LTN will, like, erase uh, filters automatically, but it's not like you can program them in yourself. Okay. This is kind of going to just make them fill up two different resources at once. Which is not the worst, but still. I think... What if we just loaded five different resources at once? I'll have to come back with some more belt. Name in base? Robot Wars? Sure. How's the Tesla coil thing working out for the train? Uh, good, I think, judging by just staring at it recharge a bit faster. But really, we need to give the train a lot of construction orders quickly uh, to really get a feel for it. Name in base. All right. Wild card. Robot was and where are we gonna put it over here fantastic maybe I should have more than two construction bots here blasphemy all right there we go Let's go place those belts and things. And red wire. And green wire. How do we not have requester chests? Alright, so that should give us more of a spread of items in here. I think. That actually seems to be helping a lot with getting more types of items in at the same time. Like, a lot, a lot. We've actually got... 18 different types of items in this cargo rocket. Fantastic. That's like almost every... That's that's almost as many types of items in there as we need upstairs. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Even if we lose a bit of efficiency on the stack sizes. I could just wait until it gets to a point where we're pretty full upstairs and then change this back to anything. And then we'll only have like one stack or two in the entire cargo rocket that's not fully loaded. Uh, plasma stream. Oh, we don't have the lithium yet. Alright, cool. Once this rocket launches, 
There's no lithium. I think there was no lithium in there. There's no lithium here either. Lithium. We've definitely got it. Provide threshold 50k. Well, there's your problem. Not sure why... I would have removed that. Maybe it was a misclick or something. Also, we aren't telling LTN that we've got chlorine here. Now you should wait before launching for five secs? Maybe, yeah. I was thinking of that before. Um, how could I do that? How could I most succinctly do that is the real question. Um, launch on green signal. Uh, wait until E is zero. Wait five seconds and send a green signal. Launch on green signal when cargo full. You can combine them. That's nice. So in case we make some kind of mistake. MCPS Luke, name and base, sure. We can do that. Does that fit here? Not quite. Uh, let's just put it over here. Fantastic. When you get to a time-based circuit, it's always fun, indeed. Uh, rigid? Rigid Noodle? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we are gonna look for... Oh, oh, that's really convenient. Because we can say launch trigger, green signal, and cargo full. Um, I can have a timer that will get stuck, and very rarely it'll get stuck on sending the green signal. Um, but it won't matter. So what we're going to do is have a timer. Uh, the constant combinator part is up here. It's going to output 1t under a condition, though. And we're going to say t less than... 300, output t input count, connect its input to its output so it goes around in circles, and we're just going to read from the red wire because I've got this negative a million e over here. Not that I couldn't just set it to like e has to be negative a million, but if e for empty slots equals zero, we're going to output one t. We're gonna out. We're gonna cycle T until 300, and then reset it. Um, and then uh, let's say if T is equal to 299. I guess we need three deciders for this. It's more than I thought. Uh, if T equals 299, send green signal. It might need more than one tick, in which case we could just say if it's greater than 290, for example. And that should be it. So once... How is this not powered? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, our power kind of struggling though. Since when? Probably since I added all that oil. Or something. Is it the furnaces? No? 
I wonder what's eating all the power. Spending 10k is cooler? So I can choose to spend 10k or 2k for the same thing? Wait, what? Oh, name a dupe. Oh, I got scammed. I left name a dupe in there. Alright, I'm not going to take it back. That I'm just going to say well played this time. Um, but yeah, I, I should have disabled that. Because it's for the wrong game. Uh, let's see. Create a dashboard. Uh, viewer rewards. Channel points. And name a dupe should be off because we're not playing Oxygen Not Included right now. Well played. Um, I don't really want to double up. I don't really want to expand my power as is right now. Because once we get prod science, um, we can finally get Coverex working. And we can have a proper a proper throughput of uranium-235 to make nuclear fuel. We're actually kind of close to that. Cover-X only costs 500. It's definitely the first thing I'm going to do with prod science. In fact, let's just cancel all these, even this one. I don't want to consume any more resources up here while we are um, getting this set up. Alright, so do we have lithium here? We do. Do we have it in the rocket? We do. Do we have ingots? We do. Do we have uranium? We do. I think that's everything. I think our first prod science is coming the moment this rocket uh, gets up here. And that should be happening relatively soon. I feel like we should make it more than five seconds. Let's make it ten. Uh, 590. We'll see how long it takes the bots to fill out the stacks, the existing stacks. Although I guess this is going to get stuck with one resource or the other and we might not fill out electronic circuits for example. I could do the thing where we separate signals so that each one is supplying one resource, but that takes three combinators per box. I don't really want to do that. Coronal mass ejection. Did I miss it? Uh, coronal mass ejection. I don't see this. No. We're not having a CME. Uh, when is the CME? 14 hours, 17 hours. Neither of these are planets that we're on. Uh, Hughes Mike, if I didn't say so. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. West dude, welcome, welcome also. I don't even remember... Here it is. Umbrella. Oh, I know. We can check the history. Umbrella... Hasn't done anything. It is on the same power network, right? I believe it is. Umbrella. Here it is. Umbrella. Uh, it hasn't done anything at all yet. It's just charged up. 
um, many hours ago. Okay. We are looking for cargo rocket sections. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh no, I missed, I missed the testing. Well, launch on green signal when cargo full. We know it is receiving a green signal. Just have to wait for the next launch, I guess. But we're now getting plasma stream. And that's the only thing missing. Here comes our first production science pack. Uh, speaking of crap, let's get this uh, contaminated scrap out of the way. So I don't think we're dealing with... Oh, we are dealing with scrap, just not contam... No, we're not dealing with scrap at all. Scrap, contaminated scrap, and junk data cards we haven't done anything about yet. Uh, but yeah, there's our first production science ca uh, packs. We're finally going to have cover X. Alright, let's start designing cover X then. Uh, probably in a rail block, like everything else. And we need centrifuges, right? It's beautiful, indeed it is. Uh, 235. Yep. Wait, wait, 235, there we go. Um... Processing. Here it is. Cover X. Uh, centrifuge or radiation facility. Centrifuge. Um, I'm probably gonna build it around a beacon as always, and try to fit it so that we can have little beacons before that. Do you have a nuclear power plant layout? For planets, uh, the only nuclear power layout, nuclear power plant layout I have so far for K2SE is just a really basic 2x2, two two, which was incredibly easy to do, unlike in vanilla. The, um, the nuclear reactors give us a lot more heat, and the heat exchangers consume a lot more as well. Um, 50 megawatts each, it's, we, we need a lot less heat pipe, which is usually the most confounding factor, uh, makes things surprisingly difficult. Um, but yeah, this, uh, 2x2 two two actually gives us 1.5 mega, uh, gigawatts, um, if you can believe that. It's much easier to design these with CoverX. Does this work without K2? No, no, no. The um, uh, the amount of heat, power, and so on, the ratios and everything is different. Otherwise, I would have used an existing design that I have. Are we short on cargo rocket sections? I think we might be. It's probably just as well that I set this to take in all kinds of inputs at the same time. Uh, how many... We've still got 249 cargo rocket sections over here. No, don't take those... Maybe I should have put these in the same robo block. Okay. 
So, how does the standard layout look? It's probably super overkill. Oh, I hope so. Oh yeah, no, wait, I did a cover X design a while ago. Um, or K2SE. I wonder if I can find it. That's actually... Okay, we're gonna search. Overex. K-A-S? I don't think that's it. What is K-A-S? Coverex Acceleration System. Okay, that makes sense. That, that was my own name. I was doing one with... Oh, here it is. Simple Coverex V2. Oh no, that's Coverex. I'm looking for Crastorio. I could have sworn... I threw together a Coverex build. Maybe I just posted it to the Discord and forgot about it. Alright, let's see if I can recreate it anyway. So, Coverex ha takes in Uranium-238, E-235, spits out 235, and a bit of stone. Are you running with the latest SE version? I'm just reading the notes, and there are some nice changes. Uh, I haven't updated. It's been 0.6 and K2 since the start of the run. I haven't updated for a while. So, uh, what I was doing was swapping with boxes, because we can do that a lot better than with belts. And we're going to have inputs, outputs, between these two. Um... I'd prefer to prioritize one of these or the other, if I can, but it's not strictly necessary. Uh, Midden, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, we definitely want stack inserters because... When it swaps recipe, we want to be fast. It only needs 30 uranium each time. I'm actually really disappointed that I misplaced that blueprint because Coverex is kind of complicated. And I had like a precise, uh, a precise loading system and everything so that we don't double or triple up on the input for this machine while other machines are waiting. So we're going to do stack size 1. Uh, filter inserter. I think... Uranium-235... And enabled condition is E235 in this chest is greater than some amount. Oh, here it is. Enough for the enough to keep these two going continuously. So I guess 30. Probably don't have to set it that high because any amount of 235 is going to go straight into here. Whatever. Um, and this one is just going to say 238 has to be less than X. Say 100. Cool. Let's 
get some containers here. Let's get some power here. And... I just want to put it in... I actually just wanted to put in a precise amount to get it started, that was a bit silly. So let's say we start with like a hundred and we'll have infinite 238 for our testing purposes. Uh, U238 less than a hundred in here. Probably use stack filters for those ones. I'll probably use stack filters for all of these actually. If we're going to wait for a certain amount of 235 in here before we take from there. Uh, we will of course need to not put stone in here. So we're going to blacklist stone. And then, I actually remember having like 4x4 four four chests. It was probably sharing between these four or something. I think this looks neater. Alright, let's see how that looks. We'll start with 100 E235. I think this time I'll probably just do an imperfect um, cover X acceleration system instead of like, oh this is stack size one, uh, instead of trying to have it exact. Because otherwise we need a counting system. Oh no wait, I remember, I remember, I remember. I remember why I was excited about this. Um, Coverx outputs stone, which means just once, without any fancy circuitry, we're going to get a signal that tells us that the recipe is complete. So we can actually have a counter. Uh, let's see. I might do a... how long is this? One minute or something? One minute to put in 33 items. Okay, we can go stack size one. If we have another inserter to put in the U238, it would make it a lot easier. So maybe a large chest. Ideas are forming. Let's use a 3x3 three three chest. Then these would have to be a tile apart. I don't love that. But the alternative is like a 4x4 four four chest and they're even further apart. Okay. So... Filter inserters? Uh, U-235, U-238, we're going to have a counting machine. Uh, we are going to read hand contents pulse. Uh, and our enabled condition is... Uranium-235 is less than 30. This one's going to be unconditional, putting in 238. And we're going to have output input count Uranium-235 while stone equals zero. And then we're going to have exactly... 
exactly one combinator to do the counting for each of these. And I think that's everything. Read hand contents. Pulse or hold doesn't really matter. Uh, probably pulse, actually. Unconditional. And pass that to here, and also read the end contents pulse from here. Instead of counting, couldn't you just let the inserter that moves 235 to the next chest react to the stone inserter holding something? Uh, it would still saturate, like, the first two with, like, four to six uh, recipes worth of 235 instead of a couple. Good morning, Yatuatu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So now we're going to have the same condition I had before. Passing through... U238. If this chest doesn't have a stack of it, we'll let that go through. I could set that even lower, to be honest. Like, we literally need six in each chest, so set that to like ten. Uh, and as for U-235, we're only going to take from here if... How much would be in this chest if both of these machines have got what they want? Probably, like, two, to be honest. Um... Yeah, that's not going to have to be fast. Well, it'll it'll eventually speed up. That those could both be red wire or green wire, but I kind of like this. Um, I'm just going to say E two thirty five has to be greater than one stack. Uh, one stack inserter, kind of stack. Alright, so for our cheat inputs, we're going to have infinite U238, and we're going to have exactly, let's say, 56 uranium 235. Actually, both of these are going to take from it at the same time, right? It's going to take more circuitry than I want to put into this to make it go this one, then this one for priorities. Uh, that's kind of what I've done before, but we need like this to output to a chest that goes to this, this to output to a chest that goes to this. It's not what I want to do this time. So let's just start with enough for, um, for two recipes. And then get it started. Wait, what? Oh, because there was more than tw Oh, no. Bruh. Give it back. Maybe... This whole thing is going to do two per second. I think we can probably just go stack size one, honestly. Okay. Delete all that. Start with... Exactly 60. And see what that does. Nope, it still took... Oh, because I set this to, like, greater than 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to turn this one away. 
for the moment. Or I could set it to be like greater than 30. It should be fine. Alright. Uranium. Fever. Let's go. It's still taking some. Oh, because these output at one pa Dab, 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 dab. I'm just going to turn this away until we test this properly. That's what I was about to do before. Alright, so each of these should get exactly 30... Uh, uranium 235. And then once they get to 30, they stop. Uh, and then once we output... Once we output stone, which is at the end of the recipe, it'll reset the counter and we'll pick up exactly 30 again. And somehow, I must have put in a whole stack, but you can see it's working actually. We've got 48 uranium-235 in this chest and zero extra uranium-235 in these machines. Use the counter signal down here. Hmm. I could tell it we can pick up... Hmm. I could tell it we can take U-235 only when there's stone. But then... I could see a condition arising where it would fail. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be working. Yeah, I could I could maybe see a condition where it ends up stuck somehow. But this this I am quite happy with. Uh, let's just copy the whole thing. And figure out how it's going to look around our beacon. Only when both counters are greater than 60. That's not a bad idea. We could just do a red wire output um, from here. No, they'd have to be in perfect sync. No, they wouldn't. So, like, when uranium-235 equals 60, when both of these have stopped, we can take from here. That's actually, that's actually a really good idea. That's actually a really, really good idea. Red wire from here. Same settings. Time when recipe is in progress hugely overlaps anyway, indeed. Let's try this. Alright, so we're going to start with exactly 100 U-235, infinite U-238. And we're counting... Only on this red wire we get the sum of both of them. And once both of these two stop, this one will be enabled. Yes. Yes. I love this, actually. That's perfect. That is perfect. Very clever and succinct. 10 out of 10. Okay. Um, I probably should have put our testing thing over here, because I'm going to delete this. 
but I'm pretty sure it's working just fine. Let's just watch it finish one recipe. So it's going to drop the count to zero when it outputs stone. Uh, and then both of these are going to count up to 30 each. And then there should be, what, two? Yeah, there should be two uranium-235 that this thing picks up with its stack size of one. Perfect. Beautiful. Low notes. Now then, fitting it around a beacon, it seems fairly obvious how much of that we're going to fit. Um, why don't I just put this down here? Yeah, that's good. Do you think this is enough coverings? I think we're only going to have to build this once, quite likely. We can actually fit a column of nine, if we so desire. And beacon goes here, horizontally, if we want to make it nice and neat. Uh, and we are just barely one tile too far to the right. We're not going to output... yeah, yeah, we're going to output the 235 down here. And the stone over here. And... I'll just use up the half block, so... I can't actually fit that there. Should we just do all of this in one block? Or... Uh, let, let's do stone over here. And we could double it in the unlikely event we need to do that. I think even one is very much overkill, no matter how much nuclear you use. Yeah, I should think so. I hope so. <laughs> Um, alright, but cover X, we do want a lot of it to accelerate early on as well. Uh, let's see, this is going to request U-235 and U-238, uh, two train loads. I'll have to use um, encoded network IDs so that we don't request from here and drop off to here. Would you fill an entire rocket with nuke fuel or partially? Uh, I don't know when I would do that. Let's see. Uh, it almost feels weird that we've just got two two physical inputs and no fluids or anything. Okay. Let's go with... Um, delivery cannon chest, since the throughput is not going to be high. And a loader. That that is probably massively overkill actually. But then the red belt doesn't quite reach, so what are you gonna do? Probably move this over here. It's gonna look a bit more symmetrical.
All right, so this will be E235, provider. Uh, this requesting E235 is going to have a higher priority than normal. But again, uh, encoded network IDs, we're not going to let those two stations interact. So I'm going to set ID1 here and ID2 here. And short trains permissible. Push everything to here with a limit on uh, limit to one cargo wagon. This time we're going to remember if there's a train here, do not push from here to here. Otherwise, if there's not that much, the train's going to get stuck. For quite a while. Uh, read stopped train as T. If T equals zero, push items from here to here so that we make all of it available to uh, to a short train. Without very fancy circuitry that has to lower UPS. Uh, as for stone, well, a, a yellow belt would make sense, but that would mean we have to carry one more type of belt, so let's not do that. And then I still need to move this over a tile, actually. If I want to leave room to double it. I mean, we could have this... That would actually make too much sense, actually. Yeah, let's just leave it where it is. Um, the only downside with this build is... If we want beacons on the outside... It would be a lot of beacons, like uh, only three machines per beacon. If we do them on the inside, I'd have to squish this in. I might just not worry about the tier one beacons for this one, as is often the case. To power other mine. Oh, when you said nuke fuel, you meant like uh, uranium fuel cells? I was thinking of nuclear rocket fuel for some reason. Well, not rocket fuel. I was thinking of um, nuclear fuel itself. Uh, one gigajoule. You could just as easily send a stack of solid rocket fuel. Although this won't... You won't lose any nuclear fuel with a cargo rocket. Unless maybe it crashes. Okay. Got plenty of room up here. To do our input management. Oops. Uh, let's see, U-235, U-238, filter, U-235 less than something, um, I think 80 stacks, oh, that would be divided by 3, let's call it 120 stacks, 12k, I don't think we're going to get to 12k 235 input here. Alright. Let's just confirm that nothing's going to get stuck if we spam inputs. Good morning, Zayden. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Right, so we are requesting 235, 238. It's going into a centrifuge and uh, it's basically just to make 235. Talim Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have a signal here for Coverex? We do. Okay, I like that better. For the station name. Uh, this one's going to be Stone Pickup. Doesn't need the... I can't imagine when we would use a short train for stone. I could always change it if I'm wrong. So we'll just do it this way. Oh, and uh, I don't think the rate that we're going to get stone is going to be a problem, but this should be a high priority pickup to make sure that we don't get stone blocking cover X. So stone active provider. Looking good, now we just need uh, our stone to get out of here. Why don't we do it this way? Because there's an underground in the way. That's why. That, that's, that's the reason. Actually, what's the rate of stone for the whole thing? 1.2 per second. Can we keep up with that? I think we probably can. Regardless of which sides of the belt we use. Let's do the usual, because it's neat. And I'm almost tempted to use blue belt just for the... Oh, it reaches. Fantastic. Alright, that's not too bad. Neat enough. Actually, does this reach across? No, not really. Alright then. Um, I guess I'll just do I guess I'll just do a shared belt coming out of here. Because it's going to be quite slow, right? 18 uranium two. Th oh wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Consuming 18 per second, but that considers how it recycles. It's fine. It'll be fine. All right. Let's do our filtered outputs like so. And well, it needs to go over here actually. And that should be Coverex. The moment both of these machines are active, we should see 235 passed down to here. Why are you putting stone into delivery chests? Just because it's a 3x3 three three chest and it fits snugly between the bulk rail loaders. Uh, and the bulk rail loaders will automatically pick up from this chest. That's all. So it's just a neat layout. Looks like it's working. 
Uh, Zwier, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is beautiful. I love the, uh, I actually love the stone output from Coverex because of this. Just one combinator for a counting system on each, uh, Coverex machine. The only imperfection in this build for aggressive Coverex acceleration is two machines uh, attached to each chest. But I'm okay with that. Alright then. Keeps changing. I think the left is whichever has more items. Alright, let's get some power in here. Neat as we can. We're going to need substations on both sides. It's pretty neat. That makes sense, thanks. No worries. The inserter is blacklisted stone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, this, this one, it's blacklist. So 235 and 230. Oh, I guess it's just 235. Didn't vanilla cover X used to spit out 238 as well? Or am I misremembering that? Yes, it did. Okay. Makes sense. I won't bother changing it now. Uh, let's just confirm all of this is powered properly. Looks good. Actually, that kind of bothers me. I will change it now. Whitelist 235. Because if there's only two inputs coming out and we're using filter inserters, I feel like I should just use whitelists. Especially if Literally everything else is a whitelist on this build. Alright, cool. Why is there a... Oh, if stone equals zero. I forgot. Okay, cool. Um, substation... Go here... Uh, I could move the whole thing over... Oh yeah, I already thought about this. Um, if we double it, we're going to connect this over here, I think. I'm not sure how the power is going to be working, though. I'd have to use medium poles. don't think I'd like to do that. Let's move it over a bit. Point of reference. And that means this part doesn't have to look quite as weird as well. So if we did double it, uh, we could squeeze that in. Yeah, that's quite good. Fantastic. Now we just readjust some of this. This is the part where we do wish we had a blue underground. But it's really, really overkill. The red belt is all really, already really, really overkill. Um, I think it would be neater if we do it like this. 
with the loaders. And... And that's that. Big brain time, <laughs> thank you. Alright, uh, now to see how far along our CoverX research has got. Let's blueprint this sucker. Oh, and yes indeed, it did leave room for each resource. Uh, wire connections are good. Wire connections are good. Substation goes here. And that's it. No Factorio? How can you be that calm in that case? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Are the outputs for the uranium like an underground chest? Uh, underground chest? You mean these things? It's a delivery cannon chest, which I'm only using because it's 3x3 three three in this case. On the tracks. Oh yeah, yeah, this is called a bulk rail loader slash bulk rail unloader. Um, it basically just does one job very well. Alright, let's go with Rex. And I call it basic cover X, but we're doing some some nice circuitry here. Uh, snap to grid eighty six twenty four, and we're good. Let's put that into here somewhere. Maybe I should have a category for uranium. And let's have a look. We're at 17% on the research? Ouchie. Oh, because we don't have any more vulcanite blocks up here yet, probably. Yep. Okay, any vulcanite blocks here? Nope, I haven't actually requested them yet. There's your problem. Block. Uh, that is recipe delivery can encapsulate vulcanite block. That's not what we're, look what we're looking for. It actually stacks to 200. So... A full cargo rocket would be 100k. But we don't have that kind of vulcanite right now. I'm just going to go pick it up for the moment. Because it's going to be a minute before we have that kind of enriched vulcanite again, I think. Mostly because we're actually stuck on crushed. Is that so? Oh, and... I did set it up so we won't take from here and put up here. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't have crushed vulcanite. We we should have crushed vulcanite. Oh, I see what I did here. I forgot to limit the front cargo wagon. So if we rebalance this... Whoa! No, no, no! That was too fast. Bruh. Okay. Alright. Item on ground. Robots. The floor got coloured. Indeed it did. Oh, they're stealing it. No! Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's where it's supposed to go. Oh, no. We're gonna get crushed vulcanite sent back to the... Back to the mall at this rate. End.
Andy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, um, I think I had the even distribution settings rather aggressively quick a while ago because um, because biters, because I was using it for turret creep, basically. Okay, let's just pick this up the traditional way. Hey, guitars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this thing actually stopped? No, it's been going just fine. Alright, well, good to know that there's not a real material reason um, for our shortage on enriched vulcanite. That is a lot of, a lot of jobs for the bots. Let's give him a hand. Why does it not just wait for you to release the key? Because I set it aggressively fast so that we could very rapidly put ammo in a bunch of gun turrets in the early game. What the hell happened there? I set the uh, limit to 40 stacks in this thing that was fill full of crushed vulcanite and I was going to do a rebalance like this, but it was too fast and I rebalanced it to just this chest and it spat out all of the crushed vulcanite except for 40 stacks. I don't have the problem my save can fit your entire factory of any surfaces in my inventory? Wait, what? Okay. Well, these things happen. We're not in a rush to build our cover eggs because we haven't sent the Vulcanite upstairs yet. It should trigger when you release the hotkey, not when X seconds have passed. But I just go... Hold control, click drag... I'm still holding it. Yeah. Is it a setting? Not that I can see. Distribute items, control, click, drag. Use fuel limit from above, ammo limit. Replace inferior fuel slash ammo. Inventory hand vehicle. Yeah, I don't know. So I basically don't need the cargo rockets, only pods to get stuff around. Got a mod for an infinite inventory. <laughs> oh my god. It's a very common exploit in Oxygen Not Included. And I hate to say it, but it's very, very understandable. Because the containers do not hold enough. It's very awkward running around holding the F key. Oh, that's scary. Now my bots are tired. Yeah, I'll let the bots get the rest. It's all over the place and not very much. And we're done. Alright, let's pick up all this this. That can stay. That'll go back to the mall. And crushed Vulcanite back where it belongs. 
Fantastic. Alright. So. Enriched Vulcanite should be on its way again. Beautiful. Just a few more before a train is scheduled. Fantastic. And there's only one place that could be going. Uh, that's going to smelt Vulcanite blocks. And I totally forgot, um, it doesn't cost us power when we do this, it actually gives us power. Alright, so, Vulcanite blocks. I, I was going to come down here and pick some up. We'll have more in a minute, but I don't really want to... Okay, we actually will literally have more in a minute. This is way faster than our material can keep up with for the foreseeable future. Are there any other uses for enriched? I think there's one. Um, Vulcanite block and iridium blast cake. Well, we're not worried about the blast cake just yet. Um, but yeah, look at look at those blocks go. And it's happening twice. Uh, just as fast on this side. So we should see a train delivering Vulcanite blocks over here. Oh, that's LDS. That's a good sign. Wait a sec. That's taking from the mall. That's not a good sign. Also, maybe I should use encoded network IDs to not deliver from the mall to certain places. These are all high volume uh, space capsules we need though. Blocks go burr. Indeed they do. Move in. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I didn't say so, I think I saw you earlier. Or are the days bleeding together? Possibly. That's actually not quite enough to trigger a delivery. I'm just going to pick some up. Because we literally need, like, less than 500 sent upstairs so that we can get our coverings done. Uh, could you not take out the Vulcanite box, actually? Fantastic. Hold up. Apparently I haven't requested them up here. That would probably help. Okay. And... We're still taking them out? Hold on, what? Negative. Oh, did I think it was LTN again? No? Hang on. There's no Vulcanite blocks up here. Vulcanite block, 100k. Oh, it's... Is it because we haven't readied the cargo rocket yet? Each greater than zero. Each times negative one. So we're subtracting what's in the cargo rocket. Oh, it's power problems. We're not receiving the signal for what they want upstairs all of the time. What are we doing today? We are prod three. I mean, prod three. We are production science packing. Uh, and we've got, as you can see, we've done a little bit of research with that. Uh, with the little bit of vulcanite block that we already had from Nalvis Orbit. Um... But we're just struggling to get a little bit of vulcanite blocks sent upstairs. But once we do, it'll run for a good while. 
Wait, what? That's iron plate. Head out before the bots grab those back. Fantastic. That should be enough to launch a rocket. Uh, and now we build coverex before before we have coverex. Where should we put it? I'd like to put it close to the uranium and the nuclear plant, but um, we've got a bunch of mines in the way still. I haven't even tapped that holmium at all yet. Oh, is this empty? Oh, fantastic. So we can put it right next to uranium processing. I know the best way to test if that mine is actually empty. We can fly over it and not get shot down by radiation. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um... I think we will turn this into a provider station. Provide threshold like 10. And priority. Yes. So as soon as we need sulfuric acid delivered somewhere, the train should take all this away. Now then, Carver X needs some of these mines out of the way. Hopefully this won't waste a bit of sulfuric acid. Um, it doesn't look like... No, I think it did salvage the sulfuric acid. You can see the fluid moving after I remove that. Alright, that'll do for now. Let's build our cover X system. Although it won't let us put the recipes there just yet. That's some heavily undefined behavior for power, st power shortage? Uh, what do you mean heavily undefined? Do you mean I just didn't account for it in the build? I mean, because that's entirely true. We do have centrifuges. Fantastic. I might just build this myself since it's so close to the mall. We've already done most of it. We need a call-by container. Here comes our uranium already. I don't I think there's literally no U-235 though is the only thing. Um, yeah, we ate it all. We're going to need another uranium mine to get this started. Well, first we need the research done, so we've got plenty of time to make that happen. How's our rocket looking? It has vulcanite blocks. Fantastic. Oh, and we want to see the moment that this fills up. I could just remove this signal right here. So it won't launch until I reconnect that. And we should we should be able to test our timer signal at that moment in case I miss it. Okay. Give to me some 
centrifuges, please. Fantastic. Let's go place them. Uh, let's go place them. Also, we didn't have enough uh, filter inserters before because that's a lot of filter inserters. How many are we missing? Another 26. I'm not handcrafting that. Let's go back again. And where's our rocket up to? 307 stacks? Fair enough. We got our filter inserters. And I believe that is completion of this build. Beautiful. Uh, now we just have to be able to set the recipe to cover X though. Um, also, also, we need Uranium-235. That's kind of important. What if I set this to? Uranium ore drop-off? That works. Um, I think I want to... I'll actually just disable this for now. Request stack threshold 80. Um, that works too. But I think I want to prioritize this, actually. Do you really need so much U-235 on the input station? You only need some to start. Uh, I guess so. I'm just... I, I guess not, rather. I'm just in the habit of requesting two train loads so that the next... Uh, when we start running out of this, the next train load comes well before... We run out, that's all. Um, besides which, 238 is exceedingly common. Alright, here is a uranium mine in a very convenient location, actually. Technically, shouldn't the stone from Coverex be an active provider station? It is. That's why it's purple. Very high priority pickup. Uh, you are 100% correct. Okay. I think I have everything on me to make this mine myself. I don't think we're going to need the construction train for this job. I could have done it without flying over, though. And come to think of it, well, we actually have to stand pretty close to get hit by the... What did I just... I don't connect rolling stock. Okay. Uh, let's see... Where we want to put... I might just build a block around this ahead of time. That's actually a really nice fit. I could even have like a half block hit. No, that'd be in the way. Let's just do this first. Put the pickup in the usual spot. And when we put some kind of build here, we won't even have to move it. Probably. Now then. Uh, mines. Blue belts. And it's not going to be that fast. I'd like to not use any more belts and stuff than I have to. I mean number of belts that I have to manage, not the actual physical uh, inputs or anything. Come to think of it, turn this around. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get more than a blue belt out of this. Yeah, no. 
So, how about this goes over here? This goes, I don't know. Over here. Right, connections go burn. That should have the whole thing connected to itself. Um... I want to be a little bit fancy, actually. Let's do a pickup and drop off in one. So we're going to say request threshold 50k for fluid. Sulfuricid. Don't bother delivering until we're basically empty. Oh, it's already coming. 7.9k? Why is that? Oh, because of that uh, used up... Yeah, it's 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 using the used up uh, acid from the previous mine. Perfect. Uh, and provide stack threshold for physical items is 80. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I love that reach. That's beautiful. That is very elegant. Blue belt, like so. And last but not least, blue belt, like so. And then we need a substation. Actually, let me put this huge storage tank right about here. Before we figure out where we're putting the substation. And don't forget to tell LTN that we've got fluid here. Now then, pipes, like so. Does the train have a path? It does. I think it was probably just taking its sweet time getting the last dregs of... Oh! Wait, what? There's 3.8k fluid here still? How? Uh, I should probably add a pump over here. Because we can't tell LTN what's in the miners. Alright, there's our sulfuric acid. There's our... Uranium. And now we're just waiting on our cover X. Which we do have the Vulcanite blocks to research. Hold up. We're missing Plasma Stream now. Because... Chemical Gel. Because Petroleum. Uh-oh. Tell me we just sent up Petroleum. I don't see it. I don't think we've got an automated supply of petroleum yet. Um, because I was barreling it over here, lazy manual-like, and not putting it into cargo wagons. I could do a drop-off for fluids. Oh wait, no, we are barreling petroleum.
But there's not a single petroleum barrel here? Hold on, what? Why? Oh, we do have the barrels in here. There's just not petroleum. Oh, yikes. Is it because I prioritized plastic and sulfur? Probably. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the priorities on those. Because it's like an absolute priority is how that works. Hey, Dada Gnome. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Adaptive armor blocks damage from radiation. Indeed it does. How goes the run? Pretty well, actually. Um, I have a kind of ambitious system for automatically supplying all the different stuff we need in orbit right now. Uh, and it's kind of... Well, we're kind of bottlenecked on various resources because we overdid it a little bit. Because I'm requesting an entire cargo rocket full of each resource. So that we always hit the cargo full threshold uh, to launch. But other than that, uh, the builds are rather neat and functional. It's all looking very nice. Let's get our construction train to build some of this rail, even though we don't need it yet. We do, however, need signals over here. Not strictly need, but a train sitting here would block trains going through the roundabout otherwise. Alright, our first bit of uranium processing in a while is going to be starting quite soon. Let's get our bots back. Now that... Oh, lithium. I was waiting to see if... We do have 11k lithium. We just received a, tra a cargo rocket. Alright, fantastic. No, it was petroleum. I forgot. Uh, I need to go pick up those barrels of petroleum, uh, and then I need to fully automate. Oh, no, we did fully automate sending the petroleum barrels. I've got the memory of a... of a something right now. Uh, we did automate barreling petroleum to send into space, but... Uh, but because I prioritized plastic and sulfur, we aren't getting any petroleum delivered here. And now we are. I think I just saw petroleum. Fantastic. Well, may as well give them the barrels anyway. We also need cargo rocket sections, which are stalled because of... Or were stalled because of low-density structures. Um, but they are working now. Still, we've got some catching up to do, so I'm going to steal some of these copious cargo rocket sections once again from the build that goes to Granis. Are you playing with a research multiplier? No, that's not the kind of difficulty that I find interesting. Okay, that'll be our cargo rocket sections. We should, especially because we're requesting barrels, we should fill this up pretty quickly. Uh, and then we'll get to witness our circuit here. Oh, we're still having power problems, I think. Yeah, we are. And yet... We're not having power problems enough for the signal receiver to falter. That's the main thing. Oh, now we are. Now we are. I could fix it, but I really just want to get cover X done. Because that is going to fix our power. Co 
of Rex Hazar, indeed. Alright, get that launch going. Give us some barrels. I said give us some barrels. It only needs to pulse the requests, but then this thing is removing what it thinks doesn't belong in the rocket. Hmm. I think I'll just disable this for now. Whatever pulses we get in the requester chests, that can just stay in the rocket. Is there something we could, like, switch off? Um, oh, is this why? How much power is it using? I want to know. Tesla. Tesla. Where is it? How does searching for Tesla give us so much stuff? Here we go. Five megawatts. That's not that much, relatively. And it's only until the uh, robo ports here are recharged. More power? Soon. Soon we will have more power. Once we get this rocket sent up with uh, petroleum barrels, we shall have all of the production science packs we need to get Coverex. Uh, and once that happens, we will have infinite, practically infinite for now, uh, uranium fuel cells. Soon, TM? It's not that far away. Here comes our uranium for processing. We'll get a little bit of 235 from this as well. I might steal a little bit of the 235, um, just enough to get the reactors online before doing cover X. I finally realized how good petroleum plus gas power plants are in this mod. Petroleum plus gas power plants. Oh, as in you're burning your petroleum in these things? They give 4.5 megawatts no matter what the fuel, right? Six per second. That's not that much. For 4.5 megawatts? Uh, 1.33... Fuel per second gives you one megawatt. Smallish refinery plus some power plants gives a ton of power, indeed. Oh, that would be the perfect sink as well. Uh, like on Granis, we actually have to sink petroleum. Um, because you can, in this mod set, you can't use petroleum to make uh, solid rocket fuel at all. And you can't crack from petroleum to anything else. So like, when basically all we're doing here is mining and making liquid rocket fuel, why is this empty? Uh, well, we can solve that pretty easily. Yeah, when basically all we're doing is mining and making liquid rocket fuel. Um, we're going to end up with a surplus of petroleum. And when the only way we could send it back is via barrels, but then we would have to produce steel. Maybe I should send steel as well as iron plate to this planet, and we should barrel the petroleum and send it back. The pure petroleum recipe is buff in either SE or K2, so it's very valid to use instead of advanced oil processing. Just slapped down a power plant next to an oil field and forget about it. Indeed. Yeah, I, th I think... I hate to have to add another cargo rocket over here. We do have some. So it wouldn't be that difficult. I could just copy what we've got here and put it over here, probably. 
Yeah, we've we've got the room. Braille. Okay, so we'll have to send steel as well as iron plate and cargo rocket sections, basically. I think this setup... Okay, this is basically the same setup, but we're still just using the anything for loading. That's okay. I hope we've got a bunch of steel right now. We probably should. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we've got an entire rocket full of steel. Let's go. Um, basic resources, most of them. We're not having much trouble right now. Okay, so steel. I'm not going to ask for 50k this time. And on Granis. Um, where's the requester? Here it is. So then we're going to be able to make barrels here. Um, I'll just use one assembler. Do we have assemblers here? Oh no. Well, luckily we have an auto crafter. Where's the signal for the... Here it is. Uh, please make 10 assembly machines. And go. Why is the set requests not working? Settings, mod settings. It probably only pulsed an output or something. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, first we need assembly machine one. And we probably first need burner assembler. There we go. Don't tell me there's more stuff missing. Uh, we need automation core stone. Oh no. You know what? Um, it's probably easier if I just borrow this one assembly machine we already have. In fact, what was I trying to make? Steel barrels. But we're, we're making it continuously. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna forget about the auto crafter here. Uh, it doesn't work very well with the 30 second refresh that I want on the other versions either. So we're just going to change this to barrel. Don't tell me we don't have a chest. I can just borrow a storage chest. Do we have a requester chest? I know we do, we just took one away. Okay. Uh, so, steel goes here. This game is more work than my actual job, indeed. Where's the gold? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I haven't had a chance to look it up just yet. Guess I'll look up the change log. What are we looking at? Oh, I see. There's some UI updates. Um, how are we looking here? Oh, it's full. Oh, so it's doing its timer thing. But I'm guessing the lack of power caused a problem there? It's sending a green signal. 
does this thing need a green signal for more than 10 ticks? Like, is it going to keep repeating like this until it coincidentally pulls it when... Uh, like, do we need to send it a green signal for like one second or something? Yeah, it seems like it. Or it might have something to do with the lack of power as well. But in any case, that will be our coverix, I believe. We got 3.9k lithium. I think we already had enough of that, actually. Uh, didn't we send vulcanite blocks just now? Oh, that was last time. Petroleum barrels, that's what it was. Uh, petroleum barrels will be brought over here, and we'll get chemical gel, which we had a ton of a while ago, but now it's gone. Uh, and that means we get plasma stream, which we need one recipe. Uh, what's the recipe time? 30 seconds. Crafting speed one. It's actually twice as fast as this machine needs. Because this is a whole minute. Oh, wait, no, the crafting speed on this is enormous. It's ten times. So yeah, we will bottleneck on plasma stream here. Mm -hmm. How's our power? It, I actually forgot this consumes a massive amount of power. And we've been giving things efficiency modules. Uh, plasma, 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 generator, couple of efficiency ones, uh, maybe, do we have any speed? We have speed ones and speed twos, energy consumption plus 60%. Uh, efficiency one, forty percent. Fifty percent. Hmm. It'll consume a little bit less, a, a little bit more than minimum power consumption if I do this. And over here, we will, of course, want some efficiency modules. In the space manufacturing. That's already got our power back to normal. Cool. So now we're looking at... Uh, let's see. 2.4 recipes per minute times 3. 7.2 science per minute. Uh, at this rate, well, that's kind of slow. Well, what are you going to do? No, that doesn't sound right because we got like. 20% of our coverex done because we had some vulcanite blocks uh, while we were designing the coverex. So I'm thinking it's not going to take as long as that. Pro probably. How's our uranium doing? Oh hell yes. Uh, we've. That's actually literally just two. Wait, where are you going with that? I thought I... Oh. Oh, it's taking it to cover X. But we don't have... Hmm. Also, I didn't even realize this thing... This thing isn't going to get anything until this is saturated, but that's actually exactly what we want with accelerating cover X. Except... No, that won't actually work very well. 
because this will output. Oh no, no, that's good actually. Um, but what's not good is... Why does this have such a... Oh, right, because this has a small provide threshold. <laughs> Literally picking up one at a time. Um, and the request threshold being high doesn't change the way that works. Alright, so uranium... Where is it? Cell. We need two uraniums... Uh, we need a pair of 235 for each uranium fuel cell. And I want at least eight. Let's... Ow, 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 it hurts. Stop it, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, wow, since when... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, since when does it hurt if it's in my hand? Because that was the trick before. Alright, so we're gonna get four uranium fuel cells. Once they're over here, um, I'll trigger the nuclear power to kick in. Uh, and hopefully that'll last us until our research is done. But I'm a little skeptical on that. Since we need 500 research. Uh, but we should have everything we need to get the 500 research now. Fantastic. Oh, that's not the mole. This is the mole. Now then. We got petroleum barrels. Fantastic. Uh, what should we do next? What should we do next? Uh, we've got production science, and there's a whole lot to be excited about that with that. But right now, all I really care about is the cover X, which we'll have soon. Ish. Um, I think... I think I'll change this back to a sensible provide threshold. Uh, provide stack threshold. Good to brought. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Energy science? Yeah, looking forward to that. We only need a handful of energy science. We need holmium. There's a few steps away. Uh, where's the gold? Thank you for the follow. Uh, we only need 50, I think it is, Energy Science Pack 1, but there's a few steps before we get that. We need we need our first SIG data for that. Uh, yeah, now, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, catalog, SIG data, Holmium plate. SIG data needs insights. Insights, uh, how much has this changed? Insights need catalogs, right? Catalogs and blank data. This is actually going to be an interesting challenge to, to build like the smallest crappy little energy science one build that we can. So that we can just squeak through and get space rail and then we can start designing the orbital base properly. Uh, but energy catalog needs these four data cards. These four data cards. Oh boy. Oh boy. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll power through researching everything we've got 
now that we have prod signs first, or quite a bit of it anyway. All right. Why are we still... It was probably already scheduled. All right, we have not that much T38 left, actually. Because we had way too much, because uh, we didn't have Coverex, we mined out this whole thing just to get T35 to run the nuclear reactors. Speaking of which, we should have at least four. Fantastic. Let's get our reactor started again. And hopefully, again, that'll keep us going until uh, Overex is finished. With everything running at full power. Okay, I think that's a pretty good time to take a little break. We'll let the factory run in the meantime. Uh, let's do some LTN screensaver and some words on stream. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? And, uh, J. Flumka, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm seeing a lot more train traffic than I thought there'd be. Um, maybe we should have another depot down here or something. I mean, it doesn't seem to be causing major problems. These shorter trains are a lot more resilient against traffic issues because they have way more acceleration. They're, they're much, much, much more agile than the long trains. Okay, so how is our uranium looking, I wonder? That's not a whole lot. Oh, Coverex is at 42%. Not bad. Is that iron? Oh yeah, I forgot we get iron out of this. I thought for a second there I was thinking Coverex doesn't give us iron. Um, kind of. Oh wow, that's a lot of stone. Uh, this... It's not that much iron, but this should definitely be a... High-priority pickup. Stone. Actually, that's an excellent sign, because... Uh, stone is actually something that we had trouble with. On this planet. Stone and coal. We're getting a ton of coal from... Granis now. But apparently we're getting enough stone from, like, uh, side outputs. Well, we've also got a stone mine up here. Uh, which is totally saturated. That's good. Uh, but yeah. I guess we caught up on that. Alright, what should we do while we wait for cover eggs? Um, I actually don't have a whole lot of ideas. I'm really liking this system a lot better since we started having it load, um, just whatever. Multiple resources at the same time. We could jump ahead and design something like we did with Coverex. So what are we going to unlock relatively soon? Growth facility. Is this the equivalent of a greenhouse in space? Go look at name in base gang? Do you mean just look over here? Or did I miss a request... Because... Words on stream. Nope, I did not. Uh, this is the... This is the Hagen name on base... Uh, name in base gang. We've actually got a bunch of names in base at... Nervous as well. Despite the fact that the biters attacked it... Uh, very, very aggressively. Oh, Andy actually has... And he actually has a ghost name in base over here. Um, because I don't have a bot system to do that on Nalvis. Just look? Okay. Uh, maybe Andy has been eaten by biters? No, I don't think Andy's name was there before the biters attacked. But yeah, when the biters did get in there, they went very aggressively... Uh, for the text plates. Um, let's see. Mechanical facility. Nuclear locomotive. What is a nuclear locomotive exactly? Nuclear locomotive... It takes uranium fuel cells? <laughs> really? Let's see. Uh, 
nuclear fuel is one gigajoule, stack size one. Uranium fuel cells, 50 gigajoules. So, so we're looking at 50 times the fuel and 50 times the stack size. Uh, let's see. It's only 2,500 times more fuel per stack. Uh, it's, except that we get only one stack instead of three. We also have to deal with the used up uranium fuel cells as output as well. Um, does it tell us max speed 250, max speed 220? Acceleration power 3 megawatts, 2 megawatts. That's without comparing the fuel, like, uh... Fuel pollution... Wait, does different fuel not give us different... It looks like, uh, we don't get bonus acceleration with, like, solid rocket fuel or nuclear fuel in this mud set. Can you even make nuclear rocket fuel? Nuclear fuel. Uh, solid rocket fuel plus uranium, yeah. But why would we want to? At this... Yeah, why would we want to make nuclear fuel with this mod set? If we can make uh, 2,500 times the stack density uh, for fuel to burn for this type of locomotive. Efficiency 10%. That doesn't sound like a whole lot. In fact, that sounds terrible. What the hell? Advanced fuel is pretty great. Advanced fuel? Is it literally just called advanced fuel? Yeah, it is. Vehicle acceleration, 125%. Vehicle top speed, 125%. Okay. How much gear jewels do fuel cells get from one uranium? Uh, 25, because it takes two. That's not counting productivity bonuses. Uh, 25 gigajoules for one year, uh, for a single U-235. Hmm. I don't like that efficiency 10%, though. So you're telling me... Well, it's still a lot better than nuclear fuel. NRF is a huge scam. Uh, do you mean this one? Probably, yeah. Interesting. What about the space rail, though? Like, there's the space... Here it is, space locomotive. I think I would like to just hold out for those as far as upgrading our trains goes. They look kind of weird. Uh, I'm not going to say what it looks like. But the logistics for this is more of a headache. We have to deal with space train power packs. Um, which are a whole thing. I think, we, I, I think they also spit out used ones. Yeah, they do. Uh, it's a bit more involved than the uranium fuel cells, but, like, the space train it's efficiency 95%. Okay, I can appreciate that. Max speed 518. Wow. Wait, what? More than double the nuclear locomotive? Damn. And double the acceleration power of the original locomotive. Wait, 12,000. Same as this one. 
interesting. Uh, what else is there? Oh, this is how I can browse the research... I was going to say this is how I can browse the research tree without pausing the game, but... Um, we don't have the same research unlocked in the editor. And I could unresearch things one at a time, but like recreating the same state would in itself take a bunch of work. We can do effect transmission. I'm honestly not that excited about tier one beacons. Uh, worker robot cargo size, tool belt. Railgun turret. Advanced exoskeleton? Hell yes. But what about production? Is it just cover X? Oh, big mining drills. That's nice. I think it's mostly just cover X that we're really interested in. Uh, as far as just getting production science goes. Hey, Dark Rail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you don't want the research screen to pause the game, why not just host it as a private multiplayer map? I guess I could do that. I think you can sync the tech tree to the LAN in settings. Do you mean to the main game? Settings, mod settings, editor extensions. We've got per player. That doesn't have anything about research. Map, editor extensions. Match research in testing lab. Oh, oh, hell yes. Let's have a look. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, Shmua. That's what it meant, indeed. How can I see the stack size of items? Uh, it's one of the mods. Um, I'm pretty sure it's listed down below, or if you type mods, but like, uh, the mod is literally just called something like Oh, there it is. Stack size tooltip. Don't tell me the commands are broken again. Uh, Streamlabs then. I have to log in again? Why do I have to log in again? But... I think the bot was turned off. Let's try this again. Nothing. Commands. Factorio mods. There's no alias. Well, there's your problem. But I would have thought, if anything, it would have just been set to a different game. It's still not working. Okay, the bot's dead. Good to know. Let me just test this. Okay, that works. Has it just not updated since I added... Oh, I had to click that? Seriously? Probably not letting me spam it now. Alright, it should work now. Should. I should really find a different, like, uh, environment um, to do stream commands and stuff. Scripting and all that. Because this one has problems. We could build out our science. While we wait for this, we have 
Let's see. Where am I going? Train blocks, basic science. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks to build. I'd like to do those five all in a row if I can. Um, but I have a feeling it won't be that convenient. If I don't want to block existing mines. You could also build iron ingots. That's a good point. Uh, we've got that on Nalvis, I believe. Or I probably blueprinted it as well. Here we go. Iron ingots. Um, it doesn't take much pyroflux, right? Ten pyroflux. Okay. So we can make a bunch of ingots. Uh, let's see. Blueprint. Basic iron ingot. Fantastic. Should probably put it close to iron plate. Wait, no. We don't need iron plate for this at all. Don't we need enriched iron before we do this? Yeah. And enriched iron looks like this. Okay. Let's see. Enriched iron. What are the inputs for it? Iron, sulfuric acid, and water. Okay, and we get dirty water. I think we already are dealing with dirty water somewhere. I just don't remember where. I could be wrong about that, actually. Yeah, we might have to add something to deal with dirty water because of this. Alright then. Can we fit a block here? Sort of, yeah. Uh, that bit of iron is going to be in the way. That's not... Uh, it's actually really hard to find places to place a block on this planet with all the little mines everywhere. I theoretically want to clear them all out eventually, but cryonite? Uh, I don't think we're going to be short on cryonite, like, ever. Since we're on a cryonite core fragment planet. I could put it here. If we want to mine that cryonite, we can, probably. Looking at the mods, are the space trains better than normal trains, or just a reskin? Oh, they are much stronger. We were just looking at them a minute ago. But the, they're more of a headache for the logistics to give them batteries. I just want great magic game. I did one decisive attack and one... Enemy got to negative 144. <laughs> Ouch. Where should I put the iron... Processing, I wonder. Enriched iron, that is. I don't want to go too far from the core fragment processing, because that's where we're getting our high reflux. And I think we'll do it here. Uh, I don't want to go too far from vulcanite, because we're going to... If we turn vulcanite blocks into pyroflux, we're going to do it close by. So yeah, I think this will do... Probably. So we're going to go for enriched iron and iron ingot. And fix that over there. Actually, we're going to need some of these. Get the construction train on the job. Uh, and we 
we do need to make sure it doesn't end up no pathing because the bots will not activate while the train no paths. Don't you start that game with 20 health? Oh my. Alright, bots away. How's that power? Not good already. What? Did we already use up that fuel? Seriously? Is this the downside of the K2SE reactors? They just burn through fuel like crazy? Uh, we've got the steam though. We probably wasted steam, judging by the fact that it's totally full. Uh, don't tell me. Oh no, I didn't connect it. Oh no. How did this happen? Well, that's not great. We definitely wasted some of that. I, I, I suspect. Probably. Okay, well, that's our power. Looking good for a while, I hope. T-Hacks, I think the ne the only next game step up with Big Brain is to use Recursive Blueprint mod. That sounds interesting, very fun. There is a slider to enable logistics while train is in motion. Oh, so does... Yeah, uh, that's, hmm. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this thing. So if it's no pathing, they won't, they will activate with that, but, but, they'll also activate all the time. Apparently they completely broke the game in the last three years. Oh, magic. I mean, if you do consistent updates... Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's not actually stuck, because it's... Huh? Oh, right, wrong side of the track. Okay. Um... Can I perhaps persuade you that you're allowed to come back. There we go. And we'll just have to replace those signals. I might just go build a little bit of that myself. Till some of the rail is done at least. It'll make it easier for the construction train to participate. We're up to 67% on cover X. Fantastic. Might just see it done tonight. Uh, I don't think we have casters anywhere. Casting machines. Let's add it to the mall. Um, casting... Machine. Fantastic. When we look there next, we should see it making casting machines. Unless there's some prerequisite missing. Casting machine. We need heat shielding. Uh oh. Why don't we have heat shielding? Because... Probably because we're short on sulfur or something. But we are making it now. T-Hex, hello, you're... You're aging and won't be younger? Oh no. But that's terrible. Our bots are tired. I need to replace those two signals up there.
Otherwise the construction train will be upset with me. Hey, it's charged. Fantastic. Takes about as long as it takes to refill the train. That's pretty good, actually. Alright. Let's bring our train... down here. Inactivity... And do we have casters? We already have 50 casting machines. Beautiful. What are we... Oh, that's how many we... That's how many we made before... Uh, Veldak, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Engineers Fox, hope you like. 47 in the channel, thank you so much. I'm just mocking Fox's typo. Wow, okay. And giving him, giving them gifts, I guess? Alright, let's build this thing. How many is this? 120 casting machines. We probably don't need that many just yet. It's possible that we don't need 120 right now. We got a train trying to come here with Pyroflux already. Fantastic. Build, build, build. Cover X at 72. I think we are going to see Cover X done tonight. Most likely. We've got fully automated resupply of everything that the science needs in space now. I'm pretty sure. And we've actually caught up uh, with most of those resources. It was definitely a good idea to have the auto-loading cargo rocket load up multiple types of resource at the same time. Oh, speaking of which, did we get steel on Granis? Uh, yes we did. Still got 8.8k, or was that just what we had before? No, I think we had like two steel on Granis earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we're loading steel. Alright, that's cool. Uh, Granis... Well, let's go build whatever we can here first. Which appears to be nothing. I should make a taxi train. Oh, I can just use the... Uh, uh, this train, actually. To go back to the mall. Could you path over here, please? Wait for passenger present, and then return to mall. Fantastic. Oh, that was quick. That was very quick. Is it not leading, uh, leaving? Where are we going? Oh, Mall Returns is the name of the station at the mall. Duh. Fantastic. With CoverX, can we say you've reached the mid-game? Uh... I don't know. Space exploration is very big. I don't know where to say that we're in the mid-game. Alright, how many... We've still got exactly 50 casting machines because no heat shielding. 
because no sulfur? Because never enough petroleum? Yeah. Uh, let's see. One. Two. Three. Uh, and four. We have... 14, 28... Uh, we have 56 oil refineries working at full speed. And we're still playing catch-up with petroleum. Apparently. That's kind of wild. We've got enough petroleum for sulfur. Is it because we're... We're actually saturated on sulfuric acid in about three seconds. Yeah. Uh, we are just this moment getting the last inputs into... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Where is it taking it? To the new build? Uh... Fujoeg, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this... We're going to need to head over there. Get as much of that built as we can. Or I could just send a train. Because until that train gets there, this one's just going to be stuck. Alright, I might just grab the casting machines that we do have. I like that we're doing this well and truly ahead of when we need it, though. So it's not like a setback like this has us twiddling our thumbs. Oh. Rude. Down we go. Software development joke which can be applied to Factorio. First 50% of game takes 90% of the time. And last 50% takes 90% of the time. Indeed. Oh, I forgot I sent the construction train over here. But where is it? Oh, here it comes. While I take its job. I came here to place the casting machines. Oh, wait. Ordering. Because they transfer between each other. Should at least be functional. Glad I came over to do that myself, actually. Let's send our construction train down here. Oh, I think it's already used up all of its uh, signals, actually. And there's our enriched iron. Working rather quickly, actually. Dirty water. Oh, I know what I can do. Dirty water. There's one other place that produces dirty water, and it's full. Oh. Enriched rare metals. Okay. So yeah, we haven't, uh, we haven't placed something to deal with the dirty water yet. Filter dirty water. I have a feeling we're going to be going through... Where is that enriched rare metal build, I wonder? Oh, here it is. 
Yeah, that's actually quite close. Enriched rare metals. Filtered dirty water. I feel like... Oh, I was going to say I feel like I should have done this in the second half of a block. But it actually needs like four outputs. And I probably went through that exact thought process before. Alright, let's just put it next to enriched iron. And I'm probably going to have to go back for filtration plants. Do we have those in the mall? We do. Fantastic. Uh, I've actually placed everything I can, almost. You already have dirty water near iron? Near iron? As in something to deal with the dirty water? Because I did a search, a uh, factory search for dirty water. Um, and the only thing, the only dirty, dirty water I'm seeing on this, on Hagen, is waste products. Exactly the same build? Uh, for rare metals, it looks very similar, yes. It's below oil? Below oil. Oh, so it is. How... We never requested it? Oh, no. Dirty water. Is that the only thing we're requesting here? I think it is. Dirty water. As is light. Wait, why don't I just put 200k? Okay. Let's switch that on then. And... Uh, get rid of this. Well, that was a mistake. But thanks for catching it. And I even had a tag for it here as well. Alright, so there should be... Dirty water. Dirty water. Provide threshold, 50k. Okay, did I switch this on? I did. Quest threshold, 50k, negative 200k, dirty water... Um, do we not have enough fluid wagons? There's a lot of trains in motion right now. Wow. Like, all of them, actually. Why didn't it show in your search for dirty water? Because th we never actually got a single drop of dirty water in here. Because I didn't switch on the requester. I like trains, indeed. I think... Most of us do, in fact, like trains. Provide priority is super high here because we have to get rid of the dirty water. So... So why are we not scheduling this? It is switched on, it is connected. We are negative 200k... Dirty water specifically. We've got dirty water here. We've got dirty water here. Um, I wonder if it's because we've got like three, uh, four fluid wagons, I think. And they're probably going somewhere that has like a high priority drop off or something. Not that we have a lot of things with priority drop-offs yet. Um, but yeah, it would seem we need more trains. Let's do another 
But first I want to double check that our depot build has been fixed and everything. That took a while to place. Um, I think I looked at this last time because I did something stupid copy-pasting from another depot. Oh yeah, we wanted to remove this. That's about it, I think. That is about it. Uh, the only bulk rail loaders in this build are vertical, north-south. So I think we can actually go select new contents and it won't wreck it, I hope. I think it wrecked it. Nope, nope, we're good. Fantastic. Might want to request something other than processed fuel though. All right. I think we've got a bit too much stuff in our editor, so let's start deleting. I, it really is taking its sweet time. Uh, maybe it's because the trains are repathing. Oh no, are we at that point? I mean, I'm deleting an entire rail block in one go, but... I think despite the fact it's on a surface that they can never reach, uh, all of the trains everywhere are repathing. Um, it's not noticeable yet when we place a single signal. Let's, uh, let's try deleting a whole bunch of other stuff that doesn't include... Um... Doesn't include rail signals. I mean, could I just blacklist? Rail and signals? If we don't even feel the slightest hitch, uh, blacklist. Deleting all of this. Yeah, I think it's trains repathing. Andy found out that the blueprint surface keeps running in the background even when you're not on it. Yeah, uh, I didn't expect anything different. Um, that's why... That's why I delete things sooner or later when I'm done with them. Um, but this time we kind of let quite a lot of stuff accumulate over here. Uh, but even so, damn, I didn't think we would be at that point. I mean, it's co it's still completely not noticeable uh, when we place signals one at a time. We literally can't even feel it. But if we place or delete a whole lot of signals in one frame, uh, it basically just pauses the game for a little while. Alright, we did get uh, dirty water delivered here. Fantastic. Good to know. How's our power? Surprisingly good. How much steam do we have left? Zero. Uh, I have mixed feelings about this. My friend dared me to watch a movie called Fall, and now I'm afraid of heights. Oh no. Why does it not wait for all signals to be deleted before repathing? Uh, I mean, they're happening all at once. But yeah, like... It's not even... 
It, it is every train on every surface that repaths whenever you place a signal or mark it for deconstruction or pick it up. It's unfortunate. But that's how it be. Let's bring our cargo rocket sections here where we're no doubt missing them. Could I bump the priority on this? I, I guess I could. I'm going to bump the priority a little bit. It is going to request like iron plate and sulfur and everything here before everywhere else. But we're requesting a really small amount of cargo rocket sections here. And we, we need them. Uh... And meanwhile, there's always a million cargo rocket sections over here. Where we do need to request a whole lot of them, but um, but we don't need it as a higher priority, I think. Cover X is at 94%. Let's go. What's the tick interval in Factorio? I assume several per second? Uh, oh, 60. 60 ticks per second. Yeah, it's UPS. Still requesting 100k Vulcanite blocks? Um, I'm sure I am. Well, we're in the... Rec oh. Uh, stack size 200. Uh, I only want to request a couple of train loads. With LTN. But we'll request a whole cargo rocket upstairs. Good catch, thank you. Also, this one is confused. Is this facing the wrong way? No, no it's not. Oh, I see the problem. Yeah, we're not doing the short trains are permitted here thing. Well, actually we are. Oh, that makes it more complicated. Uh, no, I see what we're doing. We're limiting the back cargo wagon, the one cargo wagon worth of stuff, but we still need to check if there's a train. And if there is a train, stop pushing items from one loader to the other. And the provide stack threshold is 80, so it'd have to be 40 plus 40 here. Alright, if t equals 0, read stopped train as t. And exactly the same settings here. T equals zero. Stop to train T. Alright, I'll just send you on your merry way this time. Wouldn't it be funny if the trains jumped over each other? Um, it definitely would be funny. Okay, what's next? What is next? What is this train doing? Um, oh no, oh no, it's not balanced. Wait, what? I'm so confused. This thing's disabled anyway. Uh, let's try and reverse engineer what I was thinking here. Iron ore only from the core fragment mining uh, processing comes here, drops into here. Uh, where's the front? This way. What is this for? Oh, okay. 
Hmm. If we end up with 16k? Precisely? As in, if this thing is completely full. Okay. No? If iron ore equals 16k, we let it go to waste. If it doesn't get taken somewhere else first. Why is this one just undefined? What was I thinking? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh no. Is it the same on Nalvis? With these bits? We got our cover X by the way, but right now I'm a little distracted. Uh, where's our storage area? Yeah. So we've got the system to push stuff to here. St oh, I see. Wait, no I don't. I was going to say it's probably supposed to have the same setting as this. But then it's facing the wrong way, if that's the case. The only thing it can detect is the ore in here. So this should be copper ore something something. But it's pointing this way. Oh, if copper ore is less than a train load? Than a cargo wagon? That's probably it. Easier to use first container as part of the belt? Yeah. Kind of like I've been doing in more recent builds. That's actually a much better idea. This definitely deserves an update. Uh, but first, let's get some cover eggs going. I remember where the centrifuges were. We don't even need the centrifuges, we just need to go set the recipe. Uh, and here it is. Cover X enrichment. Uh-oh. It's actually not copy- oh no. It is copying settings from something. There we go. We don't have enough to actually get started with Coverex here just yet. I think I'll just disable this machine until... Because we've got such a small amount. Um, this machine and this machine only is going to take U-235. Until things can get started. Now there should be... Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just manually move that. There's like 50 U-235 available. Ouch, 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 ouch. Stop it. Stop. No. Stop. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Fantastic. So here is not quite enough Uranium-235 to run this thing. So if I activate both of them, can they get deadlocked? Until we have more 235? I think the answer is probably. This thing will take 23. When this thing starts outputting... They'll take like half each. No, I think that'll be fine, actually. Yeah, that, that should work. So once this one finishes, it's going to output 31. Both of these are going to take from it at the same time. This is going to get to 31st, and this will be needing six more uranium uh, 235. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Oop, 
Excuse me, I think I got my mute backwards. Uh, that's actually very good, though. We needed to put in such a small effort to manually get this started really, really well. Greetings, Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cool. So, Covrex does indeed go brr. Uh, it's going to really go brr before we start outputting any 235 to the rail network. So we're not going to be using nuclear power for a minute, but that's okay. Um, I might even pay this a visit again quite soon. Well, hang on, how much is up here? We're literally just a few units. Five more 235 before we start doubling. We're so close. One, two, three. I think it's probably quicker if I just take this over. I don't think... Oh! No. I'm seeing what I want to see. Oh, there it is. That is literally our second last... I think we probably already have it now. We are one unit short of this doubling. Here it comes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this thing will go green because both of these are active. There it is. All right, we are getting, until we get 30 more units, uh, net two per minute. So in 15 minutes, if we had a way to automate without too many more combinators, um, all of, ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, if we had a way to properly automate without too many more combinators, uh, this one having absolute priority over this one, uh, it would be 15 minutes before we go from double to triple, and then obviously it keeps going faster and faster. It will prioritize a bit. Well, I mean, once we have 60 d down here, both of these will be going at full speed. But otherwise, these two inserters will take turns. Um, if I could read this side as something other than 235, we could compare the two. Or if I did, like, an arithmetic combinator... U-235 times one output as something else. We could say... Yeah, I could do it with one more arithmetic per pair. So we read from this. We say um, either a decider that's like... 235 times times what? What does this count? It's 30 when it's working, right? Uh, we could do an arithmetic. Take this times one. Output as... I don't know, you? And then this thing, I'd need two conditions on it. Like, you would have to not be 30, and this would have to be less than 30. No, wait, I mean you equals 30, and this is less than 30. Oh, I, I, I could do you 235 less than 60. 
Hold on. No, 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 that's backward. But backward might actually help. Um, if we have, like, a one-way wire... Oh, we've already got a red wire out of this. I'd have to add a combinator for the one-way wire. If we read from this and from this... If I do some swapping of wire colors... Maybe. So this one reads from both memory cells. Uh, and this one... Oh, let's say the one on the left, if it wants to go first. Its condition is less than six... No, I don't think that works right. You already have a condition? It is already putting everything in the left one, I think. I, I disabled this... Uh, this recipe right here. So, like, if I put this back up here, see they take turns, and that's the problem I'm trying to solve. It'll actually take the maximum amount of time. Um, like, we, we need to get 60, well, 59 U-235 pushed down to here before these two activate. Um, I basically want to add a condition to this one that this has to be 30. You would need two more combinators, just let it take its time and speed up cargo section production. Cargo section is just a bottleneck on uh, low density structures. And nothing else, actually. Low-density structures are actually working just fine now. We're probably about to run out of... We're definitely about to run out of plastic. Plastic is, of course, stuck on petroleum. Petroleum is... Okay, how is this 145k petroleum? Are we actually just short on fluid wagons? Okay, that's kind of exciting. We were about to add uh, another depot a little while ago, so let's do that. Oh, wait. We've got a depot here, and we've got a depot up here that has lots of space still. I, I, I do want to add a depot down here somewhere at some point, but for now, I think we could just... Add fluid wagons instead. Wait, what? There we go. Fluid wagons. Ah, uh, go. As long as I can get to the depot, it's fine. Let's give them a few solid rocket fuel each. Probably should have signals here, huh? Okay, seems... Seems good. That probably hasn't helped traffic any. Alright, I think we just about doubled our fluid wagons now, so that is probably fine. Uh, I need a symbol for Covrex. There it is. So 
So two per minute, was it? Yeah, two per minute. So 15 minutes. No, uh, 30 minutes before this doubles to this, if left to its own devices. Uh, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, uh, less than two hours it should be before all of these are active. Doubling be like that. But on the other hand, we've got another six, that's not that many. Alright, cool. Where should we put our third depot? Um, this is kind of too close to the existing one. Otherwise it's looking rather snug. Oh, and I wanted to look at how much petroleum we have all over the place. 66k, 102k, 82k. Yeah, we definitely have a shortage of trains and hopefully enough petroleum now. Oh, we had a shortage of trains. Very good. Did you ever sort that new coal mine next to the large iron patch? I did. It is chugging away. Same as always, we ask for accumulator charge to be at at least 20%. Uh, and here it is going into the rail network. We could maybe tap another coal mine or two. How well does this fit right here? Unfortunate. And this one's just as unfortunate. What can you expect? Uh, we don't. We definitely don't have the power um, for more coal mining drills. Actually, in fact. We're almost exactly 50 megawatts over budget as it is. How many accumulators do we have? 79. That's probably the problem. Because we're allowing ourselves to go over budget on power if accumulator charge hasn't crashed. Let's look at the power consumption of... Poor mining drills. Core mining drill. Okay. Uh, this is the last three hours. It's very erratic. Yeah, I think uh, because we have so few accumulators, the actual rate that they can output uh, 600 kilowatts each, that's it. So we currently have 80, I think. Times 80. So... 48 megawatts. That's less than two core mining drills. How many accumulators do we need per drill? Um, 42. That's a lot. 600 kilowatts. Is it my imagination or have accumulators been nerfed for this, um, for this mod set? Good word, but don't see it as email. Unfortunate. That's a good point, actually. Unfortunate. How am I going to fit that? Fantastic was hard enough. I'll, uh... I'll see what I can do. How many characters is that? Compared to Fantastic. It's two more characters. I also like... Oh my goodness... Indeed. I guess that's that's just gonna have to be OMG, right? 
Oh, this fits nicely. This, not so much. Wait, no, I shouldn't be looking for more coal mining drills right now. Uh, coal mining seams right now. We're not... We, we do not have the power. How many drills are active right now? Because we should probably just cut off a couple of them. Um... Or my main drill. There's three. So that's like 75 megawatts. That's not that much. Research? Uh, good point. What should we research? I had a look before, but uh, I guess tool belt. That's a thousand. Sure, whatever. Uh, worker robot cargo capacity is actually pretty huge. In fact, I think we should do that first. Advanced exoskeleton... I mean, we're always just using jetpack anyway. Maybe not. Immersite night vision. As is light. Military 5. I'm kind of curious about this heavy rocket launcher. Yeah, we, we've actually got a lot to queue up that we just kind of need sooner or later. Let's do all of that. Fantastic. Okay. Uh... I wish we could stop the radars from scanning. I just want the permanent vision so that we could have the, uh, we can have vision with the LTN screensaver. Do we have more casting? Oh, we do. Casting is over here. And also over here. That should be more than enough to finish that build. And I should put icons here as well. Uh, so this is Iron Ingot. And this is enriched iron. And it's already saturated. Nice. And I guess we just... Either I connected something just now, or we just got a delivery. Oh, we already have a whole bunch of... Iron ingots here as well. Nice. Did Robot Wars got their name in base? Uh, I don't know. Did they? Yeah, they did. And I think it was Mix... Mix Luke? Uh, I could be wrong. I think it was McSloop that scammed me with the name a dupe, and I didn't realize. But I'm just going to say well played to that. Okay, so next I would like to... Do we have what we need on Granis in order to add a cargo rocket? that's going to provide us with petroleum. Now that we probably have that problem sorted out, but it, I, I do like the idea of sending petroleum back rather than voiding it just a little bit. I hope it's actually worth the cargo rocket sections to bring back petroleum, though. That's actually a question. Especially now that we're seeing petroleum uh, potentially saturate. 
I don't know, it's hard to tell. The fact that none of these have 50k tells me we probably do need the petroleum. Uh, even if this is bursty and temporary, I would rather have it than not have it. Um, cargo rocket sections. It's always LDS. LDS is actually active. Because plastic is active. Only not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it will be worth, at this stage, to pay cargo rocket sections to get petroleum. Um, and also to just not waste the petroleum on Granis. Should I mark them as fulfilled? There are three redeems to name a dupe two from yesterday. Uh, I think I marked all of them, actually. I didn't know you had access to that. That's very helpful, thank you. Um, we got... Well, let me check real quick. Let's see... Rewards, request skew... Name a dupe. I think I... Oh. No, McSplook was today. That was the, uh... That was the one that was the one I redeemed as name in base, which um, I'll just say fair enough. Harvey and Morpheus. I don't think we've done Morpheus because we were waiting on a new one. So I'll probably just put Morpheus's name down. Uh, next week I want to start a new Oni. Uh, I'll probably just put Morpheus's name down on that. Uh, and Harvey, I did add, but, like, Harvey's dupe existed for, like, less than half a stream, so I guess I'll probably do the same thing. Seems fair enough. Okay, what time is it? We've got, like, a minute left. Uh, probably time to start looking for... A Someone to raid, I guess. Uh, there was something I wanted to remember. Oh yeah, I, I think... I think I'll have a look at this on my own time. It, it's probably pretty simple, actually. As, as someone said, just run... Use this bulk rail loader as... Like, part of the belt, basically. We're only doing one belt of input to it anyway, so that makes a ton of sense. How do you jump so fast into editor mode? I need to change the surface every time. Uh, always make sure your construction bots are, are in before you do it, but it's control E. Same as, uh, I forget where it shows you if you mouse over something. Um, but control E normally switches from this to running around. But it jumps back over here instead. If you're doing the um, the separate surface in your main game thing. Hofnix? Uh, fair enough. I've rated Hofnix before. Usually streams later? Okay. All right, let's have a peek, shall we? Uh, wow, Damsel's still streaming. Damn. Zol. Okay, let me just copy the name, make sure. That's what you just said? Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, let's drop in on Hofnix today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until tomorrow, stay safe. I am the Sky, Veldek. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. I don't have a socials command yet. 
Uh, I don't really have any socials, just the Discord. Take care, Evil Pla, Erpfulga. And, uh. See you then. Take care, Midden.